All right, Danny. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So if you're joining the live stream now, I am going to be doing a virtual signing for people who bought some stuff on my site. So this is what we have here. So if you go to realmolina.com, you could join the virtual signing um, right now. <laughs> and as we're getting this um, together, because this is the realmolina.com's first virtual signing. So we're learning as we go. So everybody, thank you for your patience. And it's going to be fun. So I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday. I hope everybody's doing great. If you hear a bunch of puppies in the background, then I hope it makes you smile because <laughs> it makes me smile. So bear with me as we get people on. And if you do want to join the signing, because I will be signing everything that's on the site live as we bring you guys in. So for the now, um, I'll show you the procs that we have before we bring other people on. So let me check everybody that's on here waiting. We're going to have this. Uh, this one, that's a champ. We have two, let's see, two title ones. One with the Divas Champion and the Women's Championship. <laughs> and then this one. And then we also have, um, where is that one? This one's kind of my favorite. This one. It's kind of my favorite for the fact that it's the WrestleMania 23. And I love, I just love the entrance of that, that moment. It really made my heart happy because... I've never, that was my first time at a WrestleMania. And then also, yeah, you don't know how everything's going to look. You know how like, okay, I put the gear on and everything. I know how I felt. I know what I envisioned in my head or I thought that I needed to do or be when it came to that. But when I saw the footage back, I had no idea how it would look like because you don't know how the camera's going to move or how how like it's the camera how it moved and how the setting looks like when you see say when i went into that that um wrestlemania arena and i saw the star the molina star the walk of fame star it it was amazing i took a ton of pictures because it was the first time i ever saw that at, in that scope and it was a beautiful thing and a beautiful experience and feeling but when i watched it you know on a wide screen on a bigger screen in, in its entirety and how it looked walking my little self. It was like this tiny little <laughs> ant walking down the ramp. It was such a long ramp. It felt like forever, but it was a beautiful thing to see. And never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that that would be me, that I would be that person, that little, you know, ant <laughs> figure. I never thought that that would be me on there. And to see that, that I, did that and I got to work with some incredible people like Ashley it really warms my heart and it's a beautiful memory and sadly enough in those moments you're stressing out and you're worrying about the match you're worrying if it's even gonna happen and you're worrying if like it did I put enough tape on my suit all of these beautiful things I love that or that that I love that I worried about is now that I look back and I think wow I can't believe I was worrying about those things because now I appreciate it so much Oh, Robert, so you're asking me how you get into the signing? So you go, okay, I'm glad I'm seeing these things. So the way you get into the signing, and I'm sorry if you hear my dogs, um, Danny, Danielle is going to uh, send you links. So you purchase on realmelina.com, and it, there's on the main page, you'll see uh, a banner. So there's like this moving banner. You could click that, and that'll send you to the shop, to the online shop. When you purchase an item, that'll send okay that'll go through to danny danny will send you a link the link will send you onto here so then you'll join us so everybody who's already bought a purchase wait for danielle to send you an email that of this link and then you punch in all the your your stuff and you'll be on here and we'll talk to each other so hopefully everybody like uh trevor eddie marcel ulysses ryan Jin, I hope that you 
<laughs> I hope you guys figure it out, but I'm looking forward to talking to you guys and I'm hope looking forward to signing for you and everybody else who's buying stuff because I know there was a couple people who bought a meet and greet. So if you don't want to buy an 8x10, you could also buy just five minutes of chat right here on the live stream. So there's also that option if you don't want to buy an 8x10 and wait for something like I know shipping and everything. So that's what we can do right now. Um, again, this is a test run. So it's a mini test run. So that's why we're not selling a lot of stuff. In the next one, we'll definitely sell maybe um, uh, gear and, or some, some items. So we will get to that. But right now we're just doing a, a test run for 8x10s. So as soon as we figure out how to break this work, we will do it. So hopefully you guys could, the link will work, but I wanted to do it on all these platforms so then I could work with everybody. So Robert, why are you getting on the signing? <laughs> I can just FaceTime you. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. But I know I'm not easy to get a hold of, so that's probably, you're terrible. <laughs> Love you. <coughs> and Danny, I don't know what's going on. So actually, um, I think I'm going to help try to help Danny out if I could do some emailing, if I have it set up through here. I hope I set it up through here. I have yet. Okay. So I'm going to help people out. So bear with me. Wait, hold on. Gmail. Is that where I sent it through? Maybe if I keys. What I'm going to do, thank you for your patience, everybody. I, we all got to work together. So I'm trying to work with, to help Danny out in this. Okay, hopefully you guys can still see me as I help everybody out here. Send this to Trevor. Full reply. Oop. Everybody's being great. It's thank you. Love you. Oh, Robert. Robert, I see you. What'd you get? Oh, Robert, you tell me live. Um, tell me live what you got, okay? Actually. You're so crazy, Robert. Love you to pieces. Boop. Hopefully that works. Uh, oh, you're going to hear me say, sorry. I know I'm a little weirdo. Edward, Sierra. I see you, Edward. And everybody, thank you for being you. Thank you for being so amazing. Um, there's so much I'm gonna talk about here on the live stream because the good thing about live streams, as well as doing this virtual signing, is that as I get to talk about all the things that are going on, going on. So right now, as soon as I try to help Danny out right now, I'm going to I'm going to look at the chat and see your questions and answer your questions as we're doing the live stream. And everybody's doing great. I know this is like out of the ordinary. I hope I got everybody. Hopefully, Danny, um, you can get to all the people on the list so far that made purchases so we could get them in. Okay, I see Robert. Wait, did I show? Robert! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, let me see, hopefully I can hear you. I gotta put up the, I gotta put up the volume. Is it me? 
Can I not hear everybody? Your mic looks like it's working. Robert. <laughs> you also have to tell me which ones, which um, eight by tens you, you want too. You're so funny. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Eddie. I'm gonna go to Eddie and sign his autograph and then we'll figure out what's going on with your mic. Okay, love you, Robert. Eddie, <laughs> is it me? Is my mic not working? I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you too. <laughs> so I got yours. It's good to see you. How me are too. you doing? Great, how about you? Oh, I'm doing good, knock on wood, thank goodness, right? Yeah. That, that we're both doing well and healthy. I mean, count our blessings. Mm -hmm. so, look at look at the outside. It looks like a beautiful day. Uh -huh. Okay, so to be sure, you got the the magazine centerfold. Uh huh. The sad part is, so to everybody, when you go on the site, and especially you, Eddie, when it was it was actually a magazine centerfold. So it was a. I think it might have been the first time I ever was in the centerfold for WWE magazine, mm -hmm. and the rest of my back, so I couldn't like scan that. So that's why I got this one. So Eddie, how has everything been going? Great. Oh, good. Is it okay if I use blue? Sure thing. Yeah. Talk to me. What are you up to today? Right now, I'm uh, um, I'm actually at work right now. I'm a buster at a, this restaurant called Miller's. So I've got some free time right now to do this. And I'm coming to, I'll be coming to see you in Orlando the first week really? of November. Yeah. Oh my goodness, for the Mr. Olympia? Uh-huh. Oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, look forward to seeing you. Uh -huh. Especially with all the girls, like uh, with um, Ashley Damboise, Katie Forbes, Jor um, Jordan Blue, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, and Fox, Alicia Fox is going to be there. Cool. That, that makes me happy. That makes me so happy. Let's see, here we go. How long are you gonna be in Orlando? Um, are you gonna vacation? Just for the, just for the weekend, cause I, I actually, I'm actually in Florida. I live in Lakeland, which is only a half hour away. Oh, so you can make the drive. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on, don't ruin it. So here we go. Let's try to center it right there. Do you like that? Is that okay? Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, <laughs> thank you for joining me from work. No problem. Oh, my goodness. I look forward to seeing you in Orlando. Yep. Do you have any questions or anything like, or we'll talk in Orlando? <laughs> nope. Okay. You have a great day, Eddie. You too. Oh, <laughs> you're awesome. Let's see. Next, we'll have Marcel. Marcel. Hey. How you been? Great. You're doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. It's been a long time since I've seen you, though. I want to say, let's see, four years? Is it yeah, four, four years? years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's good to see you. Isn't it yeah. funny how, like, okay, right now, normally when I see you, I get those flowers. Right. I do that on a virtual. <laughs> right. Thank you for those flowers. It always warms my heart. It's always, like, a surprise because I don't, you know, I only get flowers. Well, yeah, my family and friends, we, I don't really get flowers. Not that right. I blame you out there watching this i love right. you guys but it's right. always such a it's a surprise because i don't normally get them <laughs> right i remember the last time you here was like a couple months ago you was down um at the event it was months ago you was there and i wasn't there because um i had it working plus i was covered because um three two years ago i got hit by f-150 going 50 miles per hour though yeah oh my goodness are, are you okay like obviously like you're alive but like any yeah. injury 
Yeah, I'm all right. I'm I'm all right. Even though my fingers is kind of a little messed up a little bit, but I'm I'm all right though. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Those are the kind of things where you count your blessings because it could have been worse. Right. But it's watch. Look at my fingers messed up too. <laughs> right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so we're we're like we're twinsies on that a little bit. Right. Like we're <laughs> right. It could have been worse, but mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Wow. Right. Look at you. You're all smiles at everything. Right. That makes my heart happy. Right. Oh. I think, um, I think, I don't know if you got my emails, um, the email, I think I, I do act in writing. And I try to write you to event. I was just in photos of my, um, show that I was performing though. I wish you were there though. I tried to write you. I wish it was there. Oh, I wish I could go to everybody's thing. Like it breaks my heart. Like I really do wish I could. But you know, life happens. I mean, you're where do you live? I live in Philadelphia. I live in California, so it'd be hard. <laughs> but probably, right. yeah, but if there's ever a time and then I like I'm on like near there, like I would love to. Like I want to support okay. all the things that they do. Right. And you keep on going no matter what anybody says, okay? So Thank actually, you. did did you request to have something motivational on your eight by tens? Uh, I just say it's like it's like you could say like some more selling is to write whatever you want to write. Well, no, the reason I ask is that I I saw the email, so I was like, wait, was it you the one that asked for that? Because then it makes sense when it comes to what you're doing. When it comes to, is you it improv? Write, you could write some motivational. It doesn't matter. But is it improv or acting that you're doing? I'm doing acting, like acting and, and screenwriting though. Trying to work my way up to producing, and directing though. Oh, great. Do it all. Right. Yours was the the magazine? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. right there. That's one. <laughs> Let's see. Let me try to do how about red? Um, sure. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Let's see. And it was good like talking to you because um days ago I was let go from my um job at GoPuff over a wrongful termination of so this kind of like brightens my move though. Oh good. Like I'm like not the the termination part, but that it brightens your mood. Because right. you know, every time something bad happens, I haven't finished writing. <laughs> every time something bad happens. And it could seem like it's bad, but the reality is it's probably like life telling you to go on to the next phase of your life and right. something in store is waiting for you. And I don't, you don't, you don't seem as a person who just sits there and feels like, okay, like in that, in that, that negativity, you seem like you, you'll find something else that makes you smile. And I think maybe this is like your push when it comes, it comes into your acting, your writing and everything. There's always, when everybody says when one door closes, another opens, it's true. There's so many doors and windows to go through. Just you know, take the time to look, look around. There's something waiting for you. I know that with all my heart, with deep inside my soul, I know that without a question. All right, it's thanks. For you, you're a positive person. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right. I always try not to like write too much on my back, but I did. That's good. I like it. <laughs> good. That makes right. me and I will let you know as soon as we ship it off. Okay. So you know <laughs> Um, right. It's great talking to Marcel. Great talk to you. Hope to see you um, in person at another autograph session someday soon, though. Yeah, and hopefully I get to see you at one of your your performances. Okay. Love you. Okay. Love you, Marcel. Love you too. <laughs> right. Bye. Such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. 
It's good to see, let's see, it's good to see Trevor. I see Trevor up there waiting. Trevor! Hello! Oh, it's good to see you, finally see you, to put the, the face to the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's great seeing you. I was a big fan when you were in WWE. <laughs> Thank you. That makes my heart happy. <laughs> Oh, thank you for appreciating what we do. It's, you know, it's so funny because I was, of course, I was a fan of wrestling. So to, to be a fan, which is such a beautiful thing. I like, sometimes I miss it. Like I miss taking the time as a fan to appreciate all that stuff. Yeah. Because viewpoint changes, but to see both sides, I feel like, I guess I'm glad that I could be in the middle, but I do miss just watching as a fan. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, it's nice. I've gotten my mom into WWE, and now she goes to the events with me, and we really? make it a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Give your mom a hug for me. I will. Hopefully, she doesn't like. She doesn't hate me too much. Like I know that a lot of people hated the character. No, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, but give her a big hug for me, because either way, whether she loves me or hates hates me. I send her nothing but love. <laughs> will do, will do. So I want to make sure that this is what you got. Yep. Sanctioned by Melina. And if it's okay, I use the white. So it could pop. Um, yeah, that works. I also have a silver. Let's do the white. The white, yeah. All right. Make sure it doesn't leave. And I'm signing it to Trevor. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like this with the white. Who do you who do you currently wrestle for now if you're still wrestling? Well, what I'm I'm actually not wrestling right now. I'm I don't know. I'm I'm like in I kind of feel like I'm retired. Um, no. I'm, in, I'm like this in between where I don't really know if I want to continue or not really. So mm -hmm. and you know the, the more time that passes it makes me feel like well I'm getting older. I really don't have feel this need to do it. So right yeah. now being um, director of wrestling operations for Ultimate Women of Wrestling. I love that so much okay. because it help. all the things that I saw when I was in wrestling that I wish people would do, like listen to me or write something for me and all these things. Like I get to be able to be a part of that and help and assist and help with that in, in terms of this wrestling show, especially Ultimate Women of Wrestling, that this is all women's wrestling and you know, to bring women up to the best in the world and also to grow people, to have them um, have that ambition to be the best in the world. So there's some talent that have the ability, but when they are given the opportunity, they rise to the occasion. And I love it. Yeah. Very proud of um, UWW. Do you, have, do you have any big names in that um, big, organization? Like, like big names? I feel like everybody... Part of it is, in a sense, a big name, even though they're like not WWE big. But I, right now, I'm trying to convince Fox, she, that's why she's going with us to um, uh, Mr. Olympia. So she's joining uh, joining us in at Mr. Olympia. Okay. I'm trying to convince her to stay with us. But regardless, <laughs> if she choose whatever she chooses. In my mind, her approving of us and supporting us that's all that matters to me like it's a beautiful thing to have my sister be there so if, yeah if she's watching or anybody else is watching for her tell her i love her which i know she knows but <laughs> thank you for what you you're doing being a part of the signing at mr olympia i love you vix <laughs> so forever so i did this right here um, uh, the name spelled wrong. No, E R T R. -E yeah, R. Yeah, so, right. You're so good, and this is why I before I do anything, then I get more time with you. Then, <laughs> <laughs> I 
hope you're not disappointed when it comes to the not wrestling part. No, I'm not. I, I was just curious. I know. That's been the hardest part for me is wondering if I disappoint people when I say that. And even if I do, that's part of life. At some point, I'm going to have to stop wrestling. Yeah. But I really do hope that they put you in the WWE Hall of Fame soon. Because <laughs> I think you deserve it. You are a great manager. You are a great wrestler. You're so sweet. You know what the thing is, is that I guess in life it's beautiful and it means a lot to give you acknowledgement for your hard work. But the thing is, is in life, you don't always get that pat on the back and it's okay. You should do things because you love it. And in all honesty, I did it because I love it. And I'm proud of my work. Yeah. No matter how big or small my contributions were, it was just an honor to be a part of it, an honor to, to be around you guys and to talk to you guys. And when it comes to the team, as everybody knows, like I always think there's so many people uh, when it comes to like from, I'm, I'm thinking like still in the eighties and nineties, there's women who should have been in the team. And, and we skipped like decades of like, women who may not have been big, huge names, but they in a time where they weren't allowed and given the opportunity to be big names and stars. But they busted their asses and they did so much to help us, to contribute to us and to their dreams, even when they were, weren't yeah. able. So I'd like to see them get their Hall of Fame before I do. And I that's what I hope for. And if, if by a grace of whatever it is that I get the opportunity to be Thing, I will still advocate for the women who deserve to have their names acknowledged, and that's what they deserve because they yeah. ought to be able to. They should have their story told. There should be many documentaries in each for each and every one of these women, and I hope they get that. And I'm sorry I went on a <laughs> tangent. I said one sweet thing. Oh, it's no problem. <laughs> But here you go. See, I redid. Hopefully, you can see ER. All right. <laughs> Thank you for seeing. You have good eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no problem. I, I always, I always ask because it's, it's always a common misspell. Oh yeah, I bet. And I'm sorry, I, I, I was one of those who misspelled it. It's that like that's what people do with my name. It. <laughs> in it and as if it's Melinda or Melissa or Melanie. I'm like, no, it's Melina. <laughs> but thank you <laughs> for your patience and your sweetness and send a big hug to your mom for me. Will do. Thank Aww. you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Let's see. Who's next online? Wait, did we get we're still waiting for Ulysses, Ryan, and Sheehan. Are they here? I see Kendall. Ulysses, Kendall is, wait. Oh, Kendall's the one. Okay, I'll get you Ulysses first, then Kendall. Hi, Ulysses. Hello. How you doing? I'm good and you? Doing good. So I see that you have the two. You got mm -hmm. the two for 50. Yes. And it's the two titles and mm -hmm. the swimsuit. Yes. Oh, great. How are you doing? Hey, how's your Sunday going? It's going good. How about yours? It's going really good. Thank good. Knock on wood, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I've, I've been a big fan of yours for a long, long time. It's oh. like very, very cool for me. Oh. Very. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. I love these things, like especially virtuals, because not everybody can go to conventions. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's just everywhere. And sometimes I notice that all the conventions are in these big cities. But everybody's everywhere. And then there's work. There's so many things going on. Yeah. You miss play and 
me do. So things like this, I'm like, okay, I can mm -hmm. be a person. Right. And sometimes this is even more time than you get to spend at a convention sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Right. Sometimes. Because <laughs> I do talk a lot to people when it comes to all the appearances I do. Like people yeah. get. <laughs> yeah. So we definitely put Ulysses on your name. Mm -hmm. I got to pay attention to how it's spelled. U L I S E S. Yes. Right. Sometimes people, uh, sometimes people spell, it, spell it with a Y or two or two S's. Oh. Like, no, no, just I and one S. That's true. I don't want to spill paint on your eight by ten. Mm -hmm. What do I hear in the background there? Oh, it's it's just a TV. Sorry about that. I don't know that you, you could hear it. I'm always noticing like that the stuff like that. <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> or just um YouTube. Maybe Netflix, I could watch. <laughs> nah, um, Netflix, not that much. Um, I get bored of it. Just, you know, Hulu, YouTube, like that. So you go into YouTube? Yeah. I know. I used to not watch YouTube at all until my brother mm -hmm. got And then I started realizing there's some good stuff on YouTube. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And I'm, you're not always impressed? No. Um, Tony's busy, you know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of good stuff. Like, there's documentaries, things mm -hmm. like no. Never Knew, History. There's also um, all these food things that I get amazed by. <laughs> Love it so much. Let's see, what else is there? There's like those little videos of where they make kids try stuff. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> where do you live? I live in Southern California, uh, next or uh, in San Diego. Oh. Yeah. Are, isn't it amazing? No, <laughs> are we all like lucky to live in California? Yeah, I think yeah. I say that for the sunshine, but then when it comes to everything else, I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. Just the part of the earthquakes and you know the hot summers. I uh, seriously. People think it's funny when I say, oh, it's fire season. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sad truth. Okay. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. The... And here we go. Let me get you your mm -hmm. swimsuit one. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I hope I... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day. And then keep that smile. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's it means so much to me. Like you, like you, like you, like you, you don't know. Talking with you, you know. Hopefully, hopefully, sometime soon. And I know I say this all the time to people. No, for sure. That I could like have a signing in the future mm -hmm. where I get somebody one on one in in person. But hopefully, hopefully down there I get to one day. Yes, one day. <laughs> <laughs> Keep smiling. Thank, thank you. Like you too. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You have a great Sunday. Likewise. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Thank you, Lulu, Ulysses. Oh. So everybody watching, um, you could go to realmolina.com, um, purchase, uh, click the link that's on the front page. There's like this banner that says virtual signing. So click that, make a purchase. It could be just a uh, meet and greet too. You don't have to buy something. Your choices will be there in the online store and you'll pop up in here. So I hope you guys are doing, having a great Sunday. If you're just watching, ah, hope you're enjoying everything in between and 
sending lots of love to each and every one of you as I do this virtual signing. Sending you so much love. Hello, Kendall. Hi. Are nice you to meet you. It's good to meet you. <laughs> yeah, virtually. Right? But it's still, it's still the same. I don't know. For me, it's still the same. Like, yeah, you get a different um, vibe when it comes to talking, like, in person. Like, you can feel this different energy. But at the same time, to me, you still get to know a person by interacting with them, whether yeah. it's phone, like, au just audio, or, uh, like, a virtual like this, like a Zoom or whatever, like a face-to-face. -face. Yeah. You still know a person. Yeah, it's really cool. I was um, hoping to meet you in person sometime, but I keep look at your calendar and stuff and you're not going to be coming anywhere near so this is the next best thing then where do you live i live in indianapolis oh you know what i should mark that down too like i need to start marking down stuff to tell um uh uww ultimate women of wrestling where we should go because we're hoping yeah. that we go to have shows in different cities so indianapolis would be great yeah, well, I'm in driving distance to like Chicago and Columbus, Ohio, Louisville, places like that. So if you're around any of those places, I'll drive. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, yeah. I want to meet everybody in person so I could give everybody a hug. That's yeah, my, yeah. I that's on. always kind of the fun thing to do, but sometimes we don't have that option. So this is a great technology thing after COVID where if you aren't able to meet in person, you can do it this way. Yeah, not only after COVID, but also like when it comes to overseas too, because there's so many people oh, yeah. I'd love to talk to. So I hope, I hope that this could be a thing so then we could get, talk to everybody. Because I want to thank everybody, like in person, face to face, hopefully, to thank you for everything. Like this journey in wrestling, I never thought I'd ever do in my life. So it's like a beautiful thing. It's crazy and it's, there's a lot of up, um, downs. But I think like this interaction, that's a, it's the, it's what makes all the downs worth it. It's yeah. definitely <laughs> for sure. Well, when we do meet in person, hopefully sometime soon, I always bring gifts. So I'll be working on something, a, a crafted gift, not like food, <laughs> flowers, or anything. Something that I that I make. So hopefully that will be soon. Oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I made one for um, Lisa Victoria a wine glass for her and she uses it on God TV all the time. She like loves it. So. Oh my goodness. I'm going to ask her and she's going to show it to me. Cause I'm sure she probably did show it to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah. She, she really loves it and she's so sweet, but so yeah. Yeah. I'll have one for you as well. Is it actual like glass one? Or is it one of those tumblers? No, it's a, it's a full size stem wine glass. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, it'll be it'll be neat. But it's so cool to meet you in person. Well, virtually in person. I've been a huge fan for a long time. So this is neat. And I didn't really know how all of this technology worked. So I'm oh. like, how do I get in? Do I have to have Facebook? I'm watching it on YouTube. So many different <laughs> technologies come into play here. <laughs> right. Learning too. So it's like an amazing thing to like to put to use and figure out so as much as it frustrates me because i stress out like are we are we going to be on time and all of this stuff are yeah. people um are the links working as much as it stresses me out it's a learning process so that you know we could keep doing this and we keep like bringing people in and talking to each other and communicating yeah. and show, showing more appreciation and love yeah so. well that's really cool i'm <laughs> glad that you do these because it's fun for us fans to have ways to interact with you. So this is fun and really cool. I appreciate you doing this. And especially the one-on-one, -on -one, like the meet and greet, not only just that it's a meet and greet, but it's also this interaction. Like when I do live streams, I see everybody's um, messages, but I don't get to see their face and their reaction. Yeah. And this means a lot to me. Yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm really happy that you did this. Very, very cool. It's great talking to you, Kendall. Yeah, it's you too. Well, hopefully we'll meet in person sometime soon and I'll keep my eye out in this general area that I live in if you've got any pop-ups. So I'll be uh, sure to meet you in person then. I would love to see you in person. Yeah. Big hug. Right. Yes, likewise. All right, well, thanks so much. It was great to meet you. Oh, it was great meeting you. You have a great Sunday. All right, you do the same. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye, have a great day. Oh, what a sweetheart. <laughs>
All right. Let's see. I see Robert's finally on. I see you finally. Oh. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm hiding. How about you with yourself? Why are you hiding? I might have a cold. Really? Or I might have. Yeah, or the worst allergies ever. So I'm kind of like isolating just in case. Oh my goodness. Where did you go? Did you I'm go somewhere raining or something? What did you do? Did you party all night? I wish. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so good to see your face. I'm sorry I don't take the time to 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 do these things sometimes. I know I've been like super crazy i know my friend rick i need to go message him i need to like some of my my friend sarah you oh my goodness this has been a hectic like two weeks <laughs> oh, work. oh it's good to see you you do look like you're hiding you're like you're you're on the floor aren't you like against the I'm wall on, well because my phone was about to die so this is where the charger is and there's no other outlets that are I'm fine. I'm comfortable. I'm on the floor. You are so funny. What did you buy? What did you get? Oh my god. Two eight by tens. Did you? Yeah. What don't you have? I don't know. <laughs> I love you so much. I feel like you have everything. Like. Surprise. Surprise? Surprise me. How about the bitchy one? Is it? I wouldn't know what to do with that. This one says, if you're not a little bitchy, then you'll have people walk all over you. But some people confuse being bitchy with standing up for yourself. Oh, I have to have that. It's very true. So there's that. Let me move all this stuff. Yeah, what don't you have? Oh! How about the WrestleMania one? Let's do it. Okay. WrestleMania one. Mm. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, I'm trying not to make this other stuff fall right now. Don't fall. Don't fall. Where are you? Are you in huh? Indiana? Wait, you're not in. Weren't you I traveling tra again? My travel? What? What? I thought you were in like Miss Olympia or something this weekend. That's next week or in two weeks. That's in two weeks. Oh, you're at your house. Yeah. I'm at home. <laughs> I, okay, so I'm on. I got to pull this down. This is my jury summons. What? <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was, well, not a couple weeks ago. It was like federal jury duty, which I didn't know was a thing. So Do you want me I'll go. I'll be Robert. It's already passed and they didn't pull my number, but I just kept it there because it was scary because federal, by the way, when I lived in LA, I lived Wait, in you, LA for 20 so years, you, I got jury duty. I'm sorry, what? But you, you get in trouble if you don't re respond. No, I called. You call and if you pull your number, then you are excused and they excuse me. Oh, good. But, I don't want you to be in trouble. No, I'm scared. Oh. I served you right before I got that, but it was the other kind. Oh, I like that. That one? Okay. You're so cute. You're like, I like that. Oh, that's so funny. Is that why you're hiding then? Because of the because <laughs> of the jury duty? Why'd you bring that up? No, because I kept on seeing it in the background because I, I taped it on the door. So I wouldn't forget to call. I do that too. I like put up um, post-its all over the place so I can remind myself of stuff. Because I'm so used to doing whatever is in front of me. Like say if somebody comes over, I get distracted instead of doing what needs to be done. So I have to like put post-its like before you interact with so-and-so or talk to so-and-so, make sure to do this and this and that. I have to do that. I can't be given too much notice. I think that was given like three months before I actually had to call. So I, I was just like, uh, I'm definitely going to forget to call the two weeks before or the one week before, whatever it is, the weekend before. I forget what it is. Let me look at the thing. 
<laughs> yeah, you call the Friday before duty. But they give it to you in such far advance notice, like, yeah, two months advance notice. I'm like, I'm going to forget to call. <laughs> that would be me. How are you? I'm doing good, thank goodness. I keep saying, other than, like, you know, life stuff popping up, which makes me, um, I haven't been doing uh, videos for the interviews for UWW, so I haven't been able to do that, and I haven't been able to do all the things that I want to do because just life is happening and I have to get all these things done before I can focus on getting back into doing all that stuff. So hopefully in the next two weeks, back on track, just need to get everything in order. But at the same time, if that's the worst that I have is that that stress and all these things that kind of like delay things, but that's the worst of it, I count myself lucky. So as soon as I get over the hump of the stress and all these things that I need to do, back on track. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself, <laughs> but good, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Last one. I still have one more to write. Oh, but thank you for always being understanding. I'm not used to you being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about? Are you going to be doing um, managing? Because I want to see you as a manager. We'll see. We'll see. There's like things in play. I hope so. And I'm telling you, I'll start working with EWF and then I'll have you come in there. All right. That sounds like a plan. I'm sure. I can't read it, but <laughs> I'll, I'll see it and love it. You'll, you'll see it and love it? It's in I'm sure I will. It's too, it's because of the shiny, I think. And then I have crappy writing, so that's probably a part of it. I have I'm crappy Being such a wonderful friend. Thank you. Miss you. I miss you. We're going to get you managing, I promise. <laughs> Sounds get you. I want to see you back at ringside. I think everyone does. Why do you guys keep trying to convince me to come back to wrestling? <laughs> to abuse my body. <laughs> it's not that much abuse at ringside. Did you know? <laughs> no aches and pains. <laughs> Wake up and you're still fully mobile. Yeah, that's probably wonderful. You know what's so crazy? I haven't wrestled in so long. The day I finally do wrestle, that day after I finally, if I do wrestle, I'm going to be in so much pain because I am not used to it. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go through that. <laughs> oh, then don't forget anything. We'll see. We'll see. Never say never. I have to remember to never say never. Maybe I will. But maybe I won't. Love you. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. My pleasure. All right. I'll text you later. I promise. <laughs> oh, one of my closest friends. I love you. Let's see. Who is next? I know you saw him. You show me. Was it? I hope I'm saying it right. Xian? Xiangyu. Am I saying it right? Is it Xiangyu? I got, let me get your, your eight by 10 ready. Oh, hopefully I can hear you. Shin you. Oh, no, wait. I don't see you, Shin you. So I'm gonna need you to maybe put the mic on because I know you're up next, so that's what, what breaks my heart. So I'm gonna need you to put your, your, your speaker, your mic on, or is it me? Is it my thing? 
Danny, what's happening? <laughs> oh, he's having connection issues? Should we give him a little bit until he fixes so we could figure something out for him? Oh, because I do want to talk to you. Because <laughs> I saw the email of like you're, you're, you're a big fan. So I want to make sure to talk to you. We're not going to not talk to you. We're going to make this happen. So hopefully he'll, we'll, we'll figure this out soon. But I wanted to tell everybody, if you want to do a five minute meet and greet here live, if you want to get any eight by tens for the virtual, you, you could go to realmelina.com, purchase something, talk to, and Danny will send you a message after the purchase for the link. And we'll figure all this out. And we'll take as long as we need to before, like to make sure each and every person gets, gets to, see me and talk to me and have the 8x10 signed if you purchased an 8x10. But it's at realmelina.com. So you'll see on the front page a link and click the link to the store and that's how we come on in. <laughs> so let's see. What I'll do, Danny, is give um, she in a little bit time. Actually, you know what? Let me do the chat real quick. Let me see if there's anybody on the chat saying anything. So... Oh, I see you, Danny. I see you, Danielle, writing to people. Oh, I love it. Thank you for getting um, talking to everybody. Let's see. Doug Eaton said that he loves to see me at ringside, back on ringside. Oh, I wonder if you think um, if I should be on ringside when it comes to as a manager. Because you know what? I love managing. I can't believe that I haven't, like, so I need to be utilized as a manager. I was a manager of champions, people. I need to start managing people. <laughs> Who are we getting? Is the... What is this? Another me? Let's see. Let's hide that one. What I'm going to do is there's... Who else? There's... I'm going to get Lauren while Shein, um figures this out. I'll look at... Um, talk to Lauren. And see how Lauren's doing, okay? So Xiang Yu, I believe me, we'll talk, we'll talk. So thank you for your patience. I know when it comes to online and connection stuff, that is so difficult. It's frustrating, but you know, like I don't want you to be frustrated, okay? So just know that we will chat. We will chat as soon as we figure this out. So I'm sending you big hugs. Lauren. Oh, wait, let me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. So what did you purchase so I could have it ready for you? I purchased your double champion red carpet. <laughs> Ooh, double champion red carpet. Oh, oh, oh. This one? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm at work right now and I could not miss this. So I'm like, I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I love that people are doing that. Just don't get in trouble, okay? That's I'm my co I have a coworker here, so she's doing her job for both of us basically. So <laughs> oh, not for you? Yeah, she is. <laughs> I do not want you to get in trouble. I but I love it because all the sneakiness is fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. My goodness. Let's see. I'm gonna put Lauren. I'm gonna have to do something with work. You're fine. Yeah, ever I've watched you like forever, ever since I was younger when I first started watching wrestling when you were with WWE, and I always loved you. Oh, thank your, you. Your entrance is amazing. Oh. The way you do the splits right at the ringside, um, it's amazing. <laughs> Love this. Thank you. Wait, let me make sure. Wait, let me put this real quick because I will start writing something else. I lose focus real quick. Let me answer, respond to your questions properly or your comments. Thank you for loving the entrance. And it's so weird because never did I think that that would be what it became. So, how <laughs> as you can tell, I'm at work. <laughs> I love that. It's like a memory, it's something to talk about. Like, that. Oh, you will do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sneaky. I try. Oh. I love that. Thank you. 
You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you are. That warms my heart. And especially to see your smile and then having Thank you. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd meet a rare made wrestler like you or anyone in general. So being able to really warms my heart to be able to meet someone who I look up to. <laughs> oh, that makes my heart happy. Thank you no. for when everybody hated me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, Thank you. <laughs> was all about the I wanted like I wanted to entertain and just be a character like uh, I love the character because one it was opposite of my personality two right. the intricacies of being a villain is just like I love those characters you know like I love characters that just why do they do what they do why do they like, what is going on in their minds I <laughs> and I it made my heart happy to be one <laughs> On screen. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> on screen, you are you can tell you're different than you were on screen, because on screen, you were that heel character. And you're generally a lovely person in real life, too. And it's amazing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think it takes a lot more strength to be a positive or happy or a person that treats people well. It's easy to treat a person awful. Like, it's just without a care. But when people are, are yelling at you, treat you awful, to have the demeanor to calm down, to think rationally and do something nice or keep your, you know, keep your anger in check, it takes right. a So I see as much as I love the int intricacies of a character that's a villain, to be a good person takes a lot of strength. So it's true. I appreciate that in real life. Oh, of course. <laughs> By a person like you, like, you guys who are on the live stream who I've met today, I, like I when I hug you guys, I want to hug each and every one of you. Thank you for your amazing personalities, being such wonderful people. It makes my heart happy. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kick you off so then you don't get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. Um, thank I'm you so much. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> You're in trouble, but I'm sending you so much love. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I love you. I won't buy. I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't get in trouble. I'm going to keep repeating that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lauren's awesome. I love you, Lauren. I, it, makes me, it makes me scared. I don't want Lauren to get in trouble. <laughs> but that's a lot of fun. That makes me happy. So, Shing. Wait. Is she in back? Oh, I feel so awful. I feel so awful that the connection's not going well. Oh, she in. So I hope everybody's doing great. I hope we, um, you guys just have a great Sunday, regardless of if you're if you're gonna be on the live stream or not it just like makes my heart happy to see everybody and that you guys are doing well make sure you do something that makes you smile today that's the most important thing and that makes you happy so definitely with me and my dogs <laughs> oh these dogs i might have to show you pictures and i haven't been doing that but i want to send you guys pictures of the puppies on all the social media so that you could see how they're doing they make me smile so I hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. Shung Yu. I hope I'm saying your name right. That's why like, I want to see you face to face to ask how to pronounce your name correctly. Because it makes me sad when I say somebody's name wrong. So, and then, Trevor, Trevor, if you're watching or if you ever watch this back, I feel so awful for spelling your name wrong. But I'm so happy to see you today and to meet you. So that makes my heart happy too. Real quick. So Danny, what's going on? Wait, oh, maybe I could see it through your, your live chats or the live chats, the chats of what's going on. Oh, Danielle, you're writing in the chat on, on where to go for the virtual signing. I love you for that. Thank you. Walter Johnson, okay, meet and greet, cool. Um, 
Oh, Walter, you went to church. Amen. Oh, such a good person. I love you. That's always good for your soul. Uh, Chad Park from Newfoundland. Oh, love it. Oh, wait, who is that? Oh my goodness, it's Cheeto. He scared me. Junior Knox, hope to see you wrestling again soon. Oh, that makes me... <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure when you guys ask me to do wrestling because, you know, when... See, the thing is, is it's not about being young that that is the issue when it comes to wrestling. Like, yes, of course, when it comes to a certain age, you can't do what you used to do. For me right now, it's not that I'm incapable of doing it. It's just when you're back in the day, say when I was wrestling on WWE, I was doing it weekly, training every day and the conditioning was there and everything. But um the conditioning was there so it's kind of like i was already used to doing that so now that i haven't wrestled for so long i have to go back to the training back to the conditioning and back to getting used to the bumps and it's not impossible it's possible i'm here in a place where i could go to um school of hard knocks in san bernardino i keep calling it school of hard knocks um but it's ewf in san bernardino which i will go soon i told jesse i would you can see him on my instagram i went to a um appearance with them uh, a wrestling show for ewf i went there a um, couple weeks ago or was it last week but i could go there and i could also work for uww but right now i want to focus on ultimate women of wrestling and being the wrestling you know um, wrestling director of operations there so that's a project that really i want to invest my all in so we shall see we shall see you walter or was it walter G junior knox we'll shall see i love it okay so i'm going back to the peoples because i got a notification from from danny thank you for being my eyes danny i love you so who are we getting you said it was oh, i just saw your I saw your message and then it went away. So who are we gonna get next? Is Ryan, is Ryan here? Oh, Jomo. Jomo, where are you? Oh, I haven't like talked to you in such a long time. So if you're hearing this, like it's gonna make me happy to be able to see you on here because it's been so, it's been a while. And especially cameos. So hopefully I'll get back onto cameos. So if Sarah is watching, Sarah, if you're out there, I've missed some of your cameos. I am sorry. I will send you one. I will send you one um, for free because I've missed time. Um, it's again, the last two weeks, so much has been going on that I haven't been doing cameos. I haven't been on social media life. I don't know how people do it. I don't have. <laughs> I don't know. But I hope everybody's doing great and that if you're going through stress, I hope you have at least one relaxing day during the week. And I hope that at some point you get to do something for yourself during the day, at least for 20 minutes, at least a good nap or a good like listening to music or something. But Danny, Xiangyu, what's going on? I'm probably saying Xiang Yu's name repeatedly like wrong this entire time and I feel so awful. So Danny and Jomo. So we have Danny, Jomo, um, and Ryan so far that I'm looking for. We'll get you. We'll get you, you guys. And for Ryan, if Ryan doesn't show, we'll just do the next virtual signing with him. Oh, bless him. He's a good guy. Focusing, Dustin Bailey, focusing on a new podcast takes self-sacrifice, interpersonal skills, impeccable work ethic, and love for your craft. Oh my goodness, like everything that I've seen when it comes to my interactions. So what I've done for Ultimate Women of Wrestling when it comes to the Ultimate Recap, it has given me a lot of insight and learning when it comes to everything that goes into it. So now I realize when I talk to interviewers, um, what they are telling me when it comes to the equipment and 
everything. Like now I have an understanding. And now I tell people I apologize for if I do not have the right mics and all these things. I'm like, I understand what you guys are going through now because now I see it. I get it now. And it takes a lot of work and a lot of time. It is, like you said, it's a lot of love for the craft. So my appreciation for what they do, Dustin, is it is changed. But I again, like I never understood it because I never did it. So now that I see the other side of that, now I understand what all these podcasters do. And and a lot of um people in the and you like a lot of YouTubers as well. To all this stuff that it takes to create content. It's just, it blows my mind. I, I kind of, I love um, learning that too. So not only do I love being the new director of wrestling operations, but now I do love uh, doing this stuff when it comes to YouTube and creating these videos for the girls and everything. It, uh, there's another love for it now that I, I found, but oh my goodness, the, the time it takes, it's like, oh, I wish I could create be I don't know I don't know how these people find the time but it's incredible and I want to be able to learn to do that too as well but it's it's amazing but again I now I have a newfound love and appreciation when it comes to being on the other side of wrestling now I realize as a talent I had it easy and everybody backstage it's like there's a lot that gets put together that that people do for us to be able to put on a show like oh my goodness it's there's a lot of work and a lot of moving pieces and things that happen and everybody has to come together to find solutions for all like as it happens and we kind of don't realize that because we're just focused on them putting the match together that you don't realize that there's things falling apart and there's people fixing it that we have no idea that and that is doing that and I, I do have a new appreciation for everybody I've ever worked with backstage. Thank you for if anybody watches at any time, thank you for what you've done to be able to put together shows for every wrestler that comes into your promotion. Thank you for that. And I would never have realized that. And it's sad. It makes me sad to have, if I never understood this, if I would have lived the life of not understanding, I would feel so awful. Not, I mean, of course, I wouldn't because I don't didn't know, but I'm glad I know now because I don't want to go through life, not appreciate every person who is a part of everything we do. That's necessary to, for every person we interact with who puts together shows or signings or conventions, everything. You deserve your due, your flowers. You deserve your credit because you do that for us and for the fans. And I love you guys and thank you guys for that. So sorry, I had to say that piece. Let's see. We're still figuring out how to do for, for Xiang Yu. We're still figuring out how to do that one. Oh, Danny. <laughs> if there's anybody else, though, we'll keep doing the chat and everything. I see Keith Andrew on here. Hi, Keith. There's no um, messages when you send stuff, but I see your I see your name. Want to send love to you, Key, um, Dustin Bailey. Um, you're welcome. Take your time and enjoy the positive roller coaster of decision making too, in a positive way, of course. Ah, uh, thank you. You're so sweet. Let's see. Let me put Dustin Bailey. Thank you for saying that. You know, it's so funny. I was like talking to somebody, and we were talking about how. Some things we go through and we think it's like insanity, like, you know, it could be the end of the world or it could be a, an insecurity or there's things that happen in life that could seem bad. But then time passes, you look back and it ends up being a funny memory or something funny to talk about or something that teaches you that you overcame it and that you're strong enough to endure or to you learn something from it. It's funny how these things happen and we could see it as something bad, but it ends, actually ends up being something great. I'm always gonna think that way all the time. So I, I learned to appreciate the journey. And I think that's what you're saying with the roller coasters and the decision-making. I really do appreciate the journey. And I think if we didn't have the journey, if we didn't have the decisions or the twists and turns, 
it wouldn't be as exciting. It would be a little bit boring and predictable. So I'm thankful for all these little bits and pieces, those little hurdles in, in the twists and turns of life. So as much as it could be annoying, frustrating, or painful, I'm appreciate I'm appreciative of it. So is that weird? <laughs> oh, okay. Trying again for Xian Yu. Thank you, Daniel. I love Daniel. Love her so much. <gasps> Wait, Xian Yu? I think I hear you. I hear you. Oh no, you're gonna hear my dogs. Right <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh where you? Where'd you go? <laughs> okay. It's like he was there and then he left. Trevor, I see you too. Oh, hey, he, we left completely. Shane, you. Okay. I think I know why Trevor's back. Hold on. Because I, I thought about it when I was talking to somebody else. Say, there's Ulysses. No. No, I got, the, I got your name right and I got my signature. I was wondering if I got your signature. Okay, I'm still going to put Trevor on though. Oh, <laughs> I just joined back in to listen. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's going on? What's the miss? <laughs> I just joined back in to listen. I I wasn't trying to. Are you? <laughs> come back on. What's going on? Oh, no problems. I just wanted to make sure that like I got your signature. There wasn't anything I did wrong. I want to make sure about that. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't see. I didn't see what it said though. What did it say? It says sending love and hugs to you always and ever. Okay. That's good. Really? Okay. Good. <laughs> it's good to talk to you. But I'm glad I, I spelled your name right the second time. Sorry, it took me two times. Oh no problem. Okay, you could go ahead and stay on here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna answer some questions. Hopefully, like you'll you'll like um, the questions and stuff. All there right. Go. And hopefully, we get Xing Yu back on here. I'm so surprised. So, Danny, like I was so happy to be able to see Xing Yu's face because I thought I was just gonna see the black screen. So when he popped up, I was like, oh, I saw a face. <laughs> Now I get to put a face to the name. I love when I do, you know, I get to see you guys' faces. Let's see, Ryan, Ryan Lapine. Sorry, I have a bad connection. I do get exactly what you're saying about the appreciation, appreciate, about be pre appreciated. I, also, I am also a performer in the music biz. Oh, not a big time act, but like wrestlers, I always gone all the time. But it's the crowds and keep that keeps you going. Oh my goodness. This is what I always okay. So on one note, um, the way I feel about cause because I get a lot of people who says, Well, I'm not like big time or I'm not bi a big name, but you don't need to be a big name. I think it's interesting, like this search or this drive, which is beautiful to have drive, it's beautiful to have passion, it's beautiful to have that that drive to succeed but then at the same time i think sometimes when you're driven it's a beautiful thing that gets you going that keeps you focused and moving forward in goals but then there's that other side where if you take the time and it's not about being a big name it's not being about being like this ultimate star it's about enjoying the ride and enjoying what you love and whether you're a big name or not you're lucky to be able to do what you're doing, to to be able to dare to do what other people didn't dare to do. And as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. You don't need to have like this, this big, huge, like, you know, pat on the back. That's what I see sometimes. And it's great to be acknowledged for your success. But then at the same time, that's not all that matters in life. So each of us, we always have a standards of what we like kind of put ourselves facing up against where 
unless you're this, like, to me, we're all on the same plane. We just do different jobs in different ways. We're all, even, there's people who get praised and get acknowledged for whatever they do, but it doesn't mean that's better than all these other people. Like, we're all doing great. Like, I think of my grandmother and she never was like, you know, famous. She was just a grand, like my grandmother and a great grandmother to so many and a mother to my, you know, my aunts and uncles. And to me, she's just as incredible, if not more than anybody I ever met that was, you know, famous. So um, to me, her life was so incredible. She's done so much. So going off of you, Ryan, and sorry, I went off on another tangent, but I just want everybody out there to know each and every one of you is important and significant. And I guess um, when I see certain words, it, it, it affects me where I think that Sometimes I think people are making themselves smaller when they should be no they should know that their existence in this life and everything that they do should be known as and appreciated as bigger. So Ryan, you're an, you're a performer and believe me, every person you've performed in front of appreciates and loves and you made their their moments happy. You've given them great moments and something to listen to and can you imagine how many lives you're a part of that you don't know because you play, you performed in front of them? You have no idea. Sometimes we we don't know unless we get told. But tell, um, just letting you know, there's people that I never met that I've been around, and they're still in my memories for the rest of my life because of just one interaction or just watching them, and they added to my life in some way. So you never know whose life you're touching. So you're probably, you're, you're, you may not think you just, you said, I'm not a big time act, but you are, you are. So I just wanted to tell you that. Okay. Okay. Ryan, you are a big time act. Oh, no, there's no shang you. Danny, what's going on? I love this though. Again, this is part of those moments where, where I love it. We're going to like in, let's say about six months from out now, after we do more whatnots and more virtual signings, um, these are going to be the funny moments where we say, remember how like it was going this way, how Shang Yu <laughs> couldn't get on. But I do want to talk to him because I remember seeing the, the email and he said that he was a, a, a big fan. Like, of course, everybody's a big fan, but I wanted to see because I think he was from China. I wanted to see he was from somewhere. I can't remember uh, what the email said. I should should look at the emails more. But I will send you guys an appreciative email thanking you guys as well as a little note when I send your 8x10s off. So I want everybody to know that. I just want to be able to sign Shingyu's 8x10 and talk to him. <laughs> but I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll have my fingers crossed for him. But I'll get to see see him right now soon what somebody said oh my goodness Terrell said if like me and Candace had a real beef the funny thing is is like in my mind we did it like it, it's this weird thing where I think um everybody I don't know I I sometimes think that people think I'm boring because I don't get upset and I don't get angry and you know, uh, there isn't drama. Uh, like, the funny thing is, is like, in my in real life, I like get along with people, and and yeah, you know, everybody's like nice to me, and I'm nice to everybody. And then when I go into the wrestling world, it's like this environment where everybody likes to. Drama is the, especially, drama in the ring is what we create, right? It's a storytelling, and I think people forget that when they leave the ring sometimes. So it's not that they intentionally create it on purpose like they want to. I think unintentionally it happens because that lifestyle of the adrenaline in the ring, it's kind of like you you feel like it's still there. and Or it's a, a little bit of a PTSD from leaving that, that really high energy, aggressive environment. And I think sometimes you don't know how to turn it off. If you don't know how to turn it off, 
or or understand it because it does affect you. I think everybody's jobs, depending on what kind of of um, career that you choose. If you think about when it comes to people in the medical field and being in an ER and triaging all this stuff, it kind of affects you and it's a plays a part when you leave home. My mom used to work at ER, so uh, it changed her personality and I don't think she realized it, but she would triage us. <laughs> And when, it, believe me, when you're a kid wanting to go, like wanting to take the day off from school because you're sick <laughs> and she's saying no, because like, say if I had an earache or no, it was a sore throat. She would look at my throat and say, it's not red and it's not pussy. So go to school. It's like, but I feel awful. Like, I feel like I'm close to death. And as a child, you know, that's the closest thing. You don't know. It's all relative. But she'd send me home. But I'm just saying that sometimes work, because she didn't realize she was doing that until I pointed it out. And sometimes your work affects you. So I just think that sometimes people think that there's beef when there's not. And especially on my part, like I don't, I don't dislike anybody. Even if you heard, and at some point people will, but if you heard my life story and the things that have happened to me where people get angry for me, because they think I should be angry, I should be upset, I should hate somebody, but I won't. What's the point of that? That I think when it comes to anger and hatred, you hurt yourself. It doesn't do any justice. It doesn't solve anything. It doesn't make things better, especially for the person feeling it. it just puts you in a miserable, miserable spot. And I guess I just don't believe in that. So I don't have any anger or hatred for anybody. I. I know if people think it's weird that I laugh about stuff, but it's kind of not silly. I guess it's just something that I think that it's my reaction. It's my positive reaction because I don't like to get angry. And I just laugh things off. Like when I miss a flight or, you know, like something happens where I get, like say the flights get canceled. I'm stuck at an airport overnight. It, it's just so aggravating but I'll laugh because what else am I going to do? I can't get angry. Like it doesn't do anything. So when I laugh, it makes me feel better. And it makes me think everything's going to be okay. Oh, I hope, I hope Shane could go through, if he could go through Facebook, that'd be great. <laughs> anything, anything to get him on here. Let's see. Oh, I see Shane Q's uh, messaging. Oh, bless him. It didn't work. <laughs> that makes my heart happy. Let's see. Well, in the meantime, if anybody's seen the WSI um, interviews, Army always gets weird where I'm like, oh, I hope it came out good. But drama is overrated, right, Chad? I mean, this is a thing. I, I feel like when drama is created, and some people do do that, like I've had some friends and I love them, like I love them. I'm like, oh, bless your heart. I just wanna hug you. You're kind of making it worse than, than it needs to be. But it happens, like sometimes you get that feeling of, maybe this is something I, uh, me, I need to do to make life interesting. But the sad part about life is that even when everything's perfect and you're positive and happy, I'm sorry, as positive as I am and happy as I am and loving as I am, hey, life creates the drama for me. Say like when people um, want to have make beef when there's no beef. Like I know the stuff between me and Trish, I love her. I love her so much. And I hope that part of me wonders, okay, did this interaction and how everything was blown out of proportion, did that put a wedge between our relationship I wonder about that and of course you know we don't always say what what is going through our hearts but I hope that's not the case because on my side there's nothing but love and you know I hope that that's not the case but I hope you guys I and it probably won't happen people will always embellish and create scenarios when there are none I cannot stop that as much as I wish I could that's a part of life at times, and I just need to find a way through it and keep expressing how much I love people and how I, what I believe in my heart that's true. Even though pe there's gonna be people out there saying, oh, that's a lie. Uh, that's, 
that's them. That's what they want to believe. It's not reality. And that's a weird thing about life where a person who has no knowledge of it, if they shout the loudest, I guess they're the, the ones that's telling the truth, right? That's not me. I'll never shout the loudest. I'll never sling hate. I'll never hate people. I don't want that. And if I ever do feel that, I'll always just end up hating myself for feeling that feeling because that's just not in me. And I know that's weird. I know people don't interact with a lot of humans that feel that way, but I feel that way. It is my truth. That is who I am. And I'm not going to change that for nothing. I'm going to die that way. So I'll keep being the person my mom and dad raised. So that's my truth. But yeah, drama's overrated. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, she on you? <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> and this will just end up being better and better. So just to let you guys know for everybody who's watching, who will watch this in the future as, you know, because it's up on Twitter, Facebook and everything, we will be holding more virtual signings. We're, um, I'm also going to, especially as it's coming, because I want to really get things done. Everybody who wants a Christmas present, because this is what I know is true, is when it comes to November, end of November, early December, for me, that's, I don't want to risk um, having shipments not get to you in time for Christmas. So right now from here to all of November, I want to try to do what I can on WhatsApp and here on realmanlina.com when it comes to the virtual signings. Uh, we will have another one next month. But I want to be able to, I want to say, no. if Danny is, is if Danny, are you available for November 14th? Because I was thinking of that. Was it November 14th? Listen to me saying numbers, saying dates. And I'm not even sure. I want to say that for some reason. Ew, Melina, you're way off. 18th. Is it 18th? Would 18th be good? So just ballpark. On realmalina.com, you will see it on the site. It'll be promoted. So go there. You'll see everything me. You'll see UWW stuff. In the future, you'll see um, EWF, uh, EWF, which is the school I trained at. Um, I'm going to put up a page in the future for that. And you'll look for, you could go on there to look for the next virtual signing where you can join for WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a live auction. So I will be doing live auctions. Eight by tens will be here. And of course on WhatsApp too, but I like to do the face-to-face -face meet and greets. So I'm sorry, I love that about virtual signings. Um, but on WhatsApp, you'll be able to bid on anything that I have, honestly. Um, the way I see it is some of the items that I have, like say, say I have older hats that I've worn for appearances and everything in the WWE. And they're not like gear, so people want the gear. Like there's collectors who are out there. And if you don't want to pay like the $800 or whatever, but there's a little girl out there or even a guy, anybody who, like if you guys want a Molina worn something, it'll be on WhatsApp because I held on to a lot of clothes and I always wanted to hold on to my clothes because I always thought like if I had a daughter, if I had like a, anybody, like a son or if like wanted to, because I used to try on my dad's and my mom's clothes when I was a little kid. So my dad would love me. He goes, she fits into my jeans. He's like, that's how thin I was, everybody. Like he gets like, yeah, I was thin. I was in shape. It was so funny. But um, like I remember putting on all the clothes of everybody's. I just, you know, I love my family so much. I wanted to put on their stuff. And I would think like, you know, like, I'm going to be you guys. I'm going to put on this, like, these shoes and put on this pants and put on this blouse, put on my dad's hats. I used to love to wear my dad's fedoras. And I put on the fedoras and everything. And I think of my clothes and everything that I have in the garage and I have a lot. You have no idea how much stuff I have. If there is anybody out there that would just, you know, like, you guys are my family. If you want to collect, if you want a little piece, and it may not be gear. But if you want something that's mine, it would be my honor to have you guys have a little piece of me. So it probably won't be um, expensive because sometimes people want expensive things. But 
it's a little piece of me. I'm not, I'm not very much, uh, I don't collect a lot of like expensive things. So if you, if you see some of my clothes, I like to dress, like I like fashion, but I'm not going to go for name brands. I, a lot of times I just don't, I just don't. I like things that just inspire me when I'm, I'm at some place, whether it's a certain kind of like, if I go to England, what was it? I'm trying to remember that place that, that one where, so Dow took me and I love it because everybody knows it. So it's like this cool shopping place because it's a memory to me. I'm going to go shopping to places that strike a memory. So it's not always about the brand. It's about the place you go to with whoever you go to. Something that's cute that you've never seen before. Something that means a lot to you because it triggers something. You never know. So sorry, I keep talking. <laughs> I'm also trying to wait for poor Xiang Yu. Oh, I hope he makes it. Like, that breaks my heart. Fatma! Oh! Chad, I'm down for buying something. Oh, from me? That's not expensive. Oh, hopefully I can, I can... There's, like, a good little piece of something. I'm trying to think. Like, maybe we could find something. Like, oh, that would make the heart happy. Because then, I don't know. It makes me feel like then... If I can't see you guys at a signing or a convention and I'm not able to like hug you guys, that at least I could send like something where it's like, I'm with you. So you guys can know that I'm with you and I send it with my love. Cause I really do send it with my love. You know, you know what's so funny, but have you guys watched, has anybody on, I should stop watching Netflix, but <laughs> it was a show on Netflix. Um, British show that we just watched Bodies. So if you guys watch that show called Bodies, it's everybody keeps saying, know you are loved. And the way how this all goes bad makes me feel off like, how dare you sir? Like I say that to people to know you're loved. And now it ended up being something crazy culty. Like that's But when I say I love you guys, it's not a crazy culty way. It's like genuine, genuinely from the heart, like real, but not like where I'm trying to get you guys to murder people type of stuff. No, no. So that's that mo that TV series was good. Oh my goodness, the people who created that is amazing. Really brilliant the way they told that story. Oh, Fatma sending on me heart the heart face shape heart. Was it the heart eyes? It says it in words, but not the actual emojis, but I love it because I know what you're talking about. No, who's that? Who said if I'm going to do OnlyFans? Master, Master 5150. Niet, niet, no OnlyFans. I mean, one, it's if people think that, like, I don't know. It's just I don't want to have to, if people expect something that I'm never going to do, like, I don't want to do that. And plus, I could barely do my YouTube channel, and I need to focus on that. Because I really love doing the YouTube videos. So I need to focus on that before doing anything else. Like, I wanted to do TikTok, too. Ugh. I have it. I have to actually have it on my um, pro. I have a productivity board. <laughs> so I need to do all these things I have written down on my board that I'm like, okay, got to get to this, got to get to that. And honestly, YouTube, UWW, YouTube, TikTok. And that's what I'm hoping. And I wish I could get on Twitch, be more consistent on Twitch. But I'm, I got my list. I got my list. That I'm trying to check off. Ryan, been working on a few things, and hopefully you'd be interested. So if, because I know people want to message me, and I don't do so. Okay, again, everybody out there, now that if you're watching. If you get any DMs from me, and I'm, this is not for you, Ryan, like this is not for you. Um, if you get any DMs, I think I saw somebody, somebody said that I was texting them. I don't text people. <laughs> I don't text people. I don't DM people. Um, I, I want everybody to know, and Facebook either, I want everybody to keep, unless it's through realmelina.com, and especially, you know, the, there's, I've seen people trying to, say realmelina.com but they'll change the i to an exclamation point be aware of anybody out there trying to scam you please be aware of that if it's not through my verified account do not 
acknowledge it. That is not me. I don't really talk to anybody because I it's I, I find it's hard for me to post even just posting pictures. I uh, I don't really have the time to message people. So please be aware of that. Do not get scammed by anybody pretending to be me. I I really worry about that because I don't want you guys to think that that's me. Um, I'm not trying to manipulate you. Like, if there's anybody asking for money or anything like anything crazy or I don't know, it's like just be mindful because I don't want anybody to lie to you. Like especially by using my name. But I don't whether it's a person trying to utilize my name or anything. I don't want anybody lying to you guys. So I want to protect you guys. So be aware of that. If anybody messages you. Be aware of anything that says underscore. Make sure it is the credible accounts before you think it's a wrestler or any other person that you know, because I don't want you guys to fall into those traps. So just want to let you guys know, because I remember seeing somebody that said that, I think I texted them. I was like, I don't even text my mom as often as I should. <laughs> like, There's so many people I need to get in contact right now. So it's definitely not me because I don't, I get in trouble a lot from people. Like, why didn't you message me back? I'm sorry, I forget. But that's why my friends know me. They know my personality. They know to be on me about stuff. So Danny, we still don't have Shang Yu. Oh, I just want to make sure to keep checking up. And I'm here for you, Shang Yu. We'll we'll keep on here for for a little bit longer just to make sure we could get you on here. And also Ryan too. We still need to get Ryan. I think he said I'll try another thirty minutes for Ryan. I want to get him. And if not, we'll put him on the next um, virtual. So he'll be up front. Like he'll be the first to to be on the virtual. Mm. Let's see V. Thank you, V, for oh for having a crush. Like that means a lot. It always means a lot. It really does. I think it's so sweet because especially, I don't know, to have to have the honor of having qualities. Hopefully they're positive ones, like positive qualities that made you think, like makes you smile and makes your heart feel. And that is an honor every time. And I'd like sometimes people want that. We're missing Ryan, uh, Kasim, Shion Yu, Mike, and Jomo. Oh my! <laughs> Where are they? But honestly, if we can't fit, fit them in here, like oh my goodness, that's that's a good amount of people. Where'd they go? But hopefully, respond. So if Mike, Jomo, Shion Yu, uh, Ryan. I know there was another one. Kasim, if you guys are out there watching, message, look at your emails and message Danielle so then she could get you on here. Okay, please pay attention to your emails with, when it comes to the virtual signings. So then we could get you on here so I could talk to you. Curtis, yes, I was born in East LA. It's so funny because whenever I hear the, the song, like, born in East LA, I always think I was... <laughs> That was big when we were young, or when my brother and I were younger. It was so funny. Oh, Shingy, it's okay that you didn't talk to me. Like I know the poor connection. We're work, we're working on it. I know. It's so funny because that's what happens sometimes when I'm doing interviews on a ultimate recap, <laughs> and then when it doesn't record well, I feel so bad because that's what I have to post on YouTube. But as long as you guys know, I'm trying my best. And I appreciate your support and your love, each and every one of you. Hi, Mario. Let's see, Chad Park. Was it you who was asking me about um, talking to me or something like that? See, I don't really talk, like, I don't really like, other than like the face to face um, live streams and stuff like that when talking to people. But um, I. Anybody who's done the DM through or the text messaging or whatever it is through cameos, I will respond to you hopefully sooner than later. But that's the, usually the only way to like message me through text is through cameo. So everybody who's done that, I will get to you soon, especially after like this signing. And then I'm going to get better because 
it's the organizational skills. Oh, thank you. Hey. Uh, hey, Marina, how are you? I, I thought full connection over here. Yeah. It's good to see you. Oh. Yeah, good to see you. The, 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 the last time I saw you is, is in 2017, before I got locked up. I, I, I sent you on tell mail on February. You made me a video. I received it. Oh. That's in February. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I'm going to yeah. go on my account and I'm going to go look for it. I'm going to go through the accounts and look for you to see what I said. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 then you say, uh, uh, you say, uh, uh the uh, people make stupid uh mistake, and then you just don't have to be better. I took the advice, and now I'm better now. Oh, I hope so. I keep talking to everybody, like everybody in my life, and it's this thing where you gotta keep going. It's kind of like you you feel stronger after you go through something crappy, or it's painful, or whatever it is. And then you feel stronger from it. And then sometimes, yeah, you feel it again where something hurts you, something affects you, somebody says something awful. But in all honesty, if you change your perception of how you see things or react to things, it helps so much. Like whoever uh, things, that's their issue. Like if you actually sit down and think about it, whoever says the negative things, the, whatever's going through their heart and soul in their mind, it's hateful. It's hateful. That's on them. They have a hateful heart. They're miserable. They're sad. So they say something awful. And you know what? We could have a positive, loving soul and take what they say and say, you know what? I hope you feel better at some point. But that has. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, be honest, you're the only wrestler that uh, I, I watched since I was like five, five years old. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, yeah, I watched your debut since uh, m and oh, <laughs> Those were good times. Those are fun times. Yeah. Thank you for not hating me. <laughs> and no, wow, look at that. Yeah, that yeah, 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 you're, you're the best wrestler there is. Thank you. I'm a good storyteller. <laughs> And to me, that that was everything. Telling the stories was everything I wanted to do. Like that was my goal. That was my love. And I w I wanted to do everything I could to be as good as I can. Because I'm not the greatest, but you know what? I could be as great as I can, and I could at least try. And that's what I did when it came to the art of it. I'm not going to be a powerhouse. I'm not a super high flyer, but I could be a storyteller. I could, you know, make somebody look good. And that was okay. so. Do you have any uh, up, upcoming tour in Texas, Houston, uh, Dallas? What do you have say? Any, any, I said, do you have any tour in Houston or Texas or oh. Dallas? Some part no. in Texas, not, not just California. Hopefully, hopefully soon. But uh, wait, are you in Dallas or California? At, at no, the... I'm in Houston. You're in Houston? Yeah. Hopefully, you know what? I'll I'll put that on the list for for UWW to go to because I know a lot of the people who who's a part of UWW live in Texas, so I have no doubt that at some point we'll go there. So. Yeah, yeah. I hope to see you one day. Yeah, I hope so too. It would be my honor. And give yeah, you that last month. Yeah, last month I just saw uh, uh Johnny Johnny Impact. Who? It was Johnny Nitro. Oh, did uh, Johnny Nitro, the M&M. Yeah. Oh my, where at? Uh, uh, I like MCW. Oh. I just fly there. Yeah. Oh, how fun. Yeah, he's great to watch perform with all the stuff that he does. He's always been... Yeah. Well, not me. I'm... In... Yeah. But, uh, she's my favorite male wrestler, and you're my female female wrestler. Oh, that makes me very happy. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating what we did for do. For him, do. For me, did. <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay. You're a Xiang Yu. Oh, how do you say your name? Am I pronouncing it right? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Xiang, Xiang Yu. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm happy. So when it comes to your 8x10, is this the, is this the right one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, that's since uh, I have the auto list. That, that's the perfect one. And what color do you want for this for the autograph? We got uh, uh, so, so, uh, red. 
it. Yeah. All righty. Um, let me make sure. Yes. I got to double check. Actually, triple checking. I'm so happy we got you on here. <laughs> yeah, I I'm happy too. I was worried that we weren't gonna have you. Like it, like it just wasn't no. gonna, it wasn't gonna go through. So I was worrying that I'm so happy. Yeah, and we hope it it, it comes to Texas. So you need a promotion here, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe hopefully. Let's see. I'll put. I'll do my best to work a show in Texas to go see you. I really do. I really hope it. No. And it's not that I hope. I will make it happen hopefully sooner than like to go do a show in Texas so that I could have like be have the opportunity to go see you. Okay. Let's see. I gotta write a list. Okay, Indianapolis, Texas, San Diego. Gosh, I can't believe I haven't been in San Diego and it's I live in the state. Ah, oh, mellow these markers. I gotta stop. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, also, can, can, you say, can you say hi to Johnny Nacho, uh, John Mosin for me? Oh, what? well, he sees this because I don't, I don't talk yeah. to him. So if he does, if he, if I do see yeah. him, you know, if I ever see him again in the future at a convention, yes. And if he sees this, then hopefully he sees this and knows. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's the best tag team, Eminem. Oh my goodness, right? Yeah. I really yeah. do. Yeah, Mertwee, Nacho, Wom, and Marina. And Joey too. People don't, like, yeah. I, I wish people would acknowledge Joey Mercury because you know what, he was the, he was the brains of the operation. He really was. And he was great at what he did. It, I honestly, I wish things didn't turn up that he could. There's both of them, both. The, so thank you for appreciating. That makes my heart happy. No problem. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope we'll see you, see you soon next time. Me too. I hope I get to meet you in soon. Okay. You have a nice day. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, have a nice day. <laughs> Oh, big hugs, sending you big hugs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Keep that smile going all day long, please. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I love it. So Danny, who do we have? Oh, Xing Yu. Oh, it's, look at that happy face. That makes me happy. Who do we have? Wait, we got Ryan? I'm surprised. I'm like, oh, there's everybody. <laughs> I see them. Oh my goodness. I see Michael. I see, still see Trevor. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, that makes my ha heart happy. And we still don't have Jomo. <laughs> Ryan's first? Okay. Hi, hey, Melina. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, so are you the, how do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Bowie. Bowie. Okay, I got the right one for you. Got to make sure. Oh, I'm glad I, like, I got to see you today. Yeah, you too. Uh, you're one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Oh, thank you. Especially <laughs> loved your Eminem days. He had his, his super cute outfits and the tall boots. I thought those were like the cutest, hottest things ever. 
Always. I remember Fit Finley's daughter would tell me that like a Bratz character. Like he'd always tell me that she said that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so uh, were those outfits uh, just for the show or, or did you get to keep them? Uh... Oh, no. I Like all the outfits, everything that I, I wore, I bought. I bought for myself and I styled myself, which was always, it's always a thing where really we're hoping that you could, you're doing well because I'm not a stylist. I just know what I like. <laughs> And then some things, of course, go wrong, but, you know, you're always trying your best. But all the stuff I still have, it's somewhere in the in my garage, in these boxes. Like there's this one where um, I want to say it was yellow boots. It was yellow pointed boots, um, knee high. Um, I want to say it was a pleated green skirt, yellow top, I think. And I remember taking pictures in it, but I remember specifically taking pictures with um, Mula and May in it. And I'm trying to find those because I want to like put it together with the picture with Mula and May. So then I could, it's like interesting. It's just the historical factor of it. You now you kind of listen to the stories of what people have done. It's like, what? They did that? What? <laughs> what? And it's not about um, honoring that. It's about honoring the history of wrestling so i don't know depending on how people perceive it but I, I think it's fascinating that i got to interact with all these people it's an honor this oh yeah i mean uh one of my favorite memories when i uh when you hit a super crazy uh in the back of the head with one of your super cute boots i'm not gonna lie that was one of my favorite <laughs> early pro wrestling memories i'm gonna help eminem retain the championship how did the boot look like? Now I gotta look for that. It was super I think it was. It looked like it was on. Uh, you can't. You can find it on Daily Motion that full match, uh, from back in '06. Uh, <laughs> it, it looked like it was brown. It was like these super cute brown tall boots, and that was the ending of the match. Oh, super crazy! I love you. <laughs> that was my man. He looked su that. That was one of my favorite memories. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I usually root against the bad guys, but. Uh, you're definitely one of the very first, uh, very first, and very few wrestling uh, villains I actually liked. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Somebody was saying something about a chancla recently. That somebody's doing something about like a chancla move. I don't know what promotion, but where they take off their shoe and then they try like hit people with it. And I was like, Yeah, my mom taught me to do. Like I did it on on like I used to take off my shoes all the time to beat people with it. <laughs> I got it from my mom. <laughs> But it's so funny how you never know if like how something will inspire somebody. Not that me, I'm saying our families, our our culture inspire people. Yeah, and, uh, you also got me to watch uh, the NWA. I'm wearing my NWA shirt right now. William Patrick Corgan's NWA. My like, I have a pin from NWA, and I have a hat and my hoodie. I have like a little hoodie from NWA still. Like, I love those things. I love working there. Like those are fun, especially working like I got every time I remember I used to everybody would um, play like Billy's songs or if it came on at a restaurant or anything. I'd be like, that's my boss right there. <laughs> How was Billy Corgan as a boss? Oh, it's great. You know, like I, I, I like his personality and stuff. And plus, he's a Pisces like me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what made you want to leave that company? Was your contract just ended? What? what? Oh, no, I just felt like it was time. It was just time. I don't know. I guess that feeling from the rumble where I don't know if if people recall, but I kept saying, you know what? I can end my career on this. Like, honestly, that love that I got, it kind of made me feel like I'm not doing it for the attention. Like, I'm not doing it for fame. Like, I don't want people to I don't have this need to, hey, remember who I am. Like, it doesn't matter to me. But that moment at the rumble, it was so beautiful. I like, I could honestly end my career and probably like if fate were to say, hey, time's up and, you know, I stop breathing. That feeling right there was so beautiful that it's like, I lived my life. I lived a good life. And that was such a beautiful moment that I was like, okay, I don't think I need to do wrestling anymore. My heart cup's full. So that's yeah. like, at that point in time, I felt like I, I want to be with my, my, my mom and my brother and stuff and i just need to do some stuff at home and i don't know i just made a decision to just be at home and do stuff 
with my family. So you still uh, wrestling uh, somewhere? Uh... No, <laughs> I've been working at UWW, so Ultimate Women of Wrestling. So I'm working as the director of wrestling operations there. So working behind the scenes, which I don't know, I love that. I love that so much. And I love watching the girls do their thing. Like their talent and their potential is amazing. I'm so excited for them that to be a part of that and be witness to that as I get older, I, I love that. I love that so much. So I'm, I actually like the behind the scenes stuff. That makes my heart happy. Well, Moya, it was a pleasure to meet you uh, today. Uh, definitely. Uh, oh. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the wrestling memories. And yeah, the, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that one? one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one too. All right. Well, thank you for saying that. Actually, like, I'll never forget those super cute outfits with those tall boots. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. These are the moments where I'm like, I'm sorry. I get all quiet when I sign. And thank you for your time and patience, everything. And just so you know, I love all the memories. Like when we have moments of interacting and you guys tell me your memories, that makes me happy. Really me, uh, made for the next uh, signing, you should uh, sell one of those eight by tens for the picture of you in those super cute boots. Which boots? Well, any of them. I mean, all of them look cute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that makes me so happy because you have no idea. Like I, <laughs> I loved my boots. I really did. Like they always had to be different and and just unique. <laughs> Except Every for one the, of those outfits are awesome. I'm not gonna always, lie. The denim ones were to match the guys, but everything else after that, yes. I want yeah. something different. Yeah. I kind of think I need to take all my boots out and then put them on a and take pictures of them because I still have all yeah. of my shoes. I literally have hundreds of shoes. And they're all in boxes. Yeah, I'd buy an 8 by 10 of one of those. Thank you for loving me. Wait, just a picture of the boots? No, no, I mean you in them. Let's see, sending love and hugs always. I wish I could find, um, like, say, Eminem picture that's like high res. All right, so here we go. Hopefully, you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Oh, what? Trying to put it in frame, and then there's this one, and I put it in red. Oh, th thank you. Thanks so much for your autographs, Melina. It's a pleasure uh, meeting you today. It's a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. Finally, <laughs> you'll you always be one of my favorite wrestling villains. I'm not one of the very few uh, favorite wrestling villains. Usually, I boo and heckle the crud out of the wrestling villains. Oh. oh, I love that though. That was my job. That was my job. And you know what? I really wanted her, the character, to go more like evil. Like I wanted to go Lex Luthor. <laughs> my goal to become like a WWE female Lex Luthor yeah. uh, just and just take like, Oh my God, I wish I could have done that, <laughs> but you never know. Yeah. Let me tell you, uh, you definitely uh, did it. We're an excellent manager for uh, WWE. Oh, thank you. It's an art form. It's an art form. Yeah. At first I didn't like it. At first I thought, Oh, like, how dare you? I want to be a wrestler and you're going to make me a manager. And then yeah. one, there's an art to it. I loved it. I loved it. It, it was it was so beautiful. And to be responsible and to help, because I love helping, you have to be there for all the people in that match. And if you're a good manager, you know how to do that. It's not just standing there. There's an art to it. And you have to be there for every person in that ring. 
including the rest. So yeah. it's a beautiful art and I, you know, I, I wholeheartedly appreciate it so much. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Molina. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. You have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh, who's next, Danielle? Love you, Ryan. You have a great Sunday. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, Molina? I'm doing good. I saw you so excited <laughs> in the <Yeah>. waiting <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that made my heart happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember speaking to you. Um, it was back in November a couple years ago when the oh. Asylum Wrestling Store was doing their virtual meet and greet. So Oh that was the first virtual I've ever done. I think it was that that year. Was it COVID year? Yeah, it was COVID year and you got your sunglasses and your long hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I chopped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hair? So people with super thick hair know this. It gets so hot and then like you sweat in the back of your head and I had that much hair. My hair is so thick that it hurt my head to put it in a ponytail. That's how much hair I have. And it was just, I couldn't stand it anymore. I was like, you know what? I know not everybody's going to like that. Probably won't like them, but I'm going to feel great. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's so nice to chat with you again. I'm so, that makes my heart happy too, you know. Oh, I live for making hearts happy. <laughs> um, so, Melina, uh, I was just, you know, watching your live, live stream. And um, I got to tell you, I'm a podcaster myself. Oh. I have my own podcast, um, Michael's Corner. And you talk about, about, you know, how difficult it is to, you know, do all the editing and all this. So I exactly understand what you're talk what you're saying on that. Because I do every when I interview wrestlers, you know, I uh it you know, I do everything on my smartphone and whatnot. So I know how hard it is to do all the editing and whew, it's just a, it's hard work. <laughs> but when I put all my content like on my That's YouTube awesome. channel and whatnot, then um, everybody likes it, you know, and um, and everybody appreciates what I do. Oh, see, that's worth it. That's beautiful. And mm. that's like people who do that, say a person like you, that's you putting in the love when you take the time and energy doing the editing all of this intricacies that go in into this that's that's your heart that's your love and i love that and i appreciate that so much thank you for putting up yeah like, and um yeah it, you're welcome it, um, it, <laughs> it's just that uh, now i get to see your face and everything because <laughs> the last time i chatted with you you had your sunglasses on and you know the long hair and but, oh. but deep oh. down inside deep down inside though you are so nice so good with fans and whatnot and you're my all-time favorite wrestler you know oh thank you thank you so much that it, to me it means a lot i guess i i think about how if i when i was a fan how i, I would like to be treated and how people have treated me. And I think about those things. I never want to treat anybody poorly. And sadly, sometimes my intentions of being nice sometimes doesn't come across that way. And I, I feel bad, but you know, you can only help what you can and do your best. So you can't please everybody, but at the same time, I can at least try my best. And yeah. some people, uh, I've, I've seen some comments where they're like, oh, she just acts like a, a mark. And I, yeah, well, you know what? what? Wrestling oh, fans, yes. wrestlers are marks. I'm sorry to burst that bubble, but <laughs> wrestling, um, I mean, yeah, 
and it, I guess it's maybe the tone, like we're using that word. I know um, Victoria or um, Vix, uh, aka Alicia Fox. She goes, I hate that that term, and she has a, a right to say that because we may seem so bad we made that term seem so bad but in reality it's depending on how you see it because like the term diva like some people don't like it some people do mm -hmm. as, as a wrestler i am a wrestling fan if i am not wrestling why would i do wrestling that means you don't love it so if you love wrestling you're a fan so as a wrestler i love this and i love interacting with you guys and i love you guys so much because you know what, you're my heart. You show me, talk to you and interact with you. You show me well, how I'm supposed to love it and remind me why I love it. Thank you so yeah. much. And it's like what you said too, when I do my interviews with wrestlers, you know, I do see the comments, you know, I do see some people get, you know, oh, he's just a mark because he's not a wrestler. I don't have to be a wrestler, but I can damn sure be a fan, fan, you know? And because I go to these wrestling shows and I, and you know, I can see and I can spot talent. Mm -hmm. it's true, because sometimes when you're on the other side of it, like when you're on the wrestler side of it, you lose focus on other things because now you're fixated on something else. So it's true. On your end, you could see something else that, as a wrestler, we we probably can't. So maybe you don't know the ins and outs. If you haven't been in the ring, maybe you don't know certain things about within the ring. But from the outside looking in, you pick up on things that I can't see from within the ring. That is true fact. So don't let anybody like you know. And that's just a sad thing. These these comments that get said. Like mm -hmm. I was saying. Or their people, you know, the day or COVID. Melina's cutting off. You know, you can or keep your head up and no, I know we're human. We see it, but Remind yourself that it's not your issue, that negativity. And don't make it your issue. You keep moving forward and doing what you love. Yeah, thank you, Melina. You you got cut off for a second. So can oh, you repeat no. that? Can you repeat that? I don't even know what I said. It just comes out. <laughs> I, I out on the live stream oh my goodness but as long as you keep doing what you love anything negative is their issue and it's not yours and don't make it yours you keep thank your head up you. thank forward you and so much because when i um tell my people that i talk to you you know because you know like after this you know what i like to do melina is every time i'm involved in like in a live stream sign virtualized signing i just like to you know edit the video so i can cut where it's me so then that way i can show it to my people it's like i talk to this beautiful young woman like melina and hopefully get so many comments on it no thank you for the compliments that's so sweet <laughs> Oh, you know what? I didn't ask you. Just started. I just started talking to you. Did you? Did you order something? Oh no, because I, I couldn't see. To you know, chat with you. Oh, you got the meet and greet. The um, yeah, the meet and greet only. Yeah, I already got your <laughs> info tenfold when when we when um when we talked during the the asylum wrestling wrestling oh, yeah. ritual. So I still got that. Oh, good. Oh, that makes my heart. To just chat with you, you know? I, that's why I was hoping that more people on the virtual, that they would get the, the, the chatting part, because I love that. I love talking to people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Melina, so much for doing this, you know? Oh, no problem. I love it. All right. Is there any other questions before we, we finish off?
um, just one more because I don't want to time yeah. consume. I uh, that's what I learned, you know, as a podcast. You know, you gotta, I you gotta set your limit or whatnot. But well, I'm gonna make this quick. I'm so- um, <laughs> um, I'm- oh my god, um, what was your re? How did you feel when? You was in um, WrestleMania, I can't remember, WrestleMania 23, when you faced Ashley Massaro. What was your, what was your, your energy like going into the match? Oh my goodness. Like it was, I, once I got out of that curtain, it was amazing. Like I was in awe for one, because like I was saying in the beginning of the the virtual, I was saying that once I saw everything in its entirety, you go out that curtain and then to, uh, for the life of me, I want to know who, how did they get a red carpet that went that long? Because that was a long ramp. So I was in awe of like seeing the people and the the ramp that I'm like, please, nobody fall off of this ramp because it's high. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, wow, like, what? Oh, people, oh, all the people like Martin inside. He's cutting off again. He's cutting off again. <laughs> Melina, your connection. Oh my God, your connection. No. We have no more activated. <laughs> Freeze. She's freezing up. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna look at look back at this as like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my boys. Oh my god, Melina. I'm seeing these comments. You got to reset. Now she's gotta reset. Oh, at least. Wow. Now it's just got to be set. Oh, my God. Did I come back on? Am I on yet? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Am I? <laughs> Did I? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my goodness, what is happening? Am I on? Am I on? Yes, please. I fix my bangs. I need to learn. So I just thought maybe try to get with an agent. How to get Am I in again? I thought you were very talented. And you certainly fit the part. Who am I talking to? What's going on here? Mm. Holy shit. Hello, Jomo. Oh, shit, I didn't expect to get on here. I was actually doing laundry. I was on hold for a while. I've been walking around. My base now. I'm in my basement doing laundry right now. Now I get to see, like, I, I'm wow. getting a tour of home. I'm getting a tour yeah, of home. Yeah, I'm at, there's nowhere in my. Yeah, well, you're getting a tour of the basement. Uh, the That's gym, okay. the workout area. But uh, no, I can't, no one can hear you upstairs. I got my friends uh, watching football and then my brother's in his room. Oh. So I won't be able to get peace and quiet unless I'm down here. Oh, but so how you doing? Oh, you got family and friends over. That's like, you know, oh, yeah, like, my, you're like, yeah, it's hangout day. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's one day off. Sunday's the one day off I get from work and it's football day. So my work pregame in the Eagles game at eight o'clock tonight. So everyone's there. So I'm the guy from Cameo, by the way. Huh? You hear me? I'm the guy from Cameo, by the way. I ask I you a lot of questions. Jo Ooh. Joseph Morrison. I know. I've known you for years. <laughs> yeah. Now I see your face. Yeah. I'm trying so to. I want to ask you. I get Did I see you years ago when you were like a youngster? Yeah, actually, yeah. What? I think I was probably like 24 at that point. Let me say I'm hey, 30 were... now. So I might have been 24 or 25. It was a, a, a shitty. I'm sorry. I curse a little bit. I can't help it. I'm a. My moments. White trash guy from North Philadelphia, so I curse a little bit. It just comes randomly. I get it from my mother because she curses a lot. <laughs> so I uh, I saw you at some uh, what was it? Some shitty comic book like coffee shop in uh, Philadelphia. It's just some random small place. You might remember it. Oh, I was just I like walking. I actually like that place. It was just it was. Was granted, it was a small coffee place, but I loved it. I love the decor and everything. But you know what happened? That was our. That's the first, and I really actually want to do this with um, Vix for uh, Alicia Fox. I want to do like a, a mini tour like that across the country with um, with Vix. So that that time that I met you, I was doing like mini tours at comic book stores and coffee shops. It was just a spur of the moment thing. Like it just. That week, it's like, hey, can we show up? And they let us. Yeah. I was like, cool. <laughs> Me going there was spurred a moment because you're the only autograph I ever got, really. I'm not one of these people that really cares about going to Comic Cons and meeting wrestlers and getting autographs. Like, I don't really care, to be honest. I just happened to be walking home from work and I, I, I just happened to be walking home from work and I saw the meet. The sign. I can't hear you. Can you hear? Yeah, I saw the sign meet WWE's Molina. Perez, so I'm like, what the hell? So I didn't even, I don't think I even, actually, no, I did know your last name was Perez at that point, I think. But I was like, all right, this got to be her. Let me go in there and check it out since I only lived a few blocks away. So that's the first time I ever met a wrestler and first time I ever cared about meeting a wrestler since, to be honest. What a crazy, like, coincidence, though, that that sign, I remember I took a picture of that sign, too. I still have that um, photo where, like, it was Yeah, like I look kind of awkward and weird. I look, I look awkward and weird in that, uh, why are we that so picture. No, you didn't. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, Terrible. That was nice. I probably, I probably right. see you. I'll probably see you again. Uh, I'm guessing WrestleMania is in Philly, so I'm guessing you'll probably go to one of those conventions. They always have a bunch of wrestlers. I'm thinking I might go to that this year. Not WrestleMania. Those tickets. Fuck those tickets. They're too much money. But once again, sorry about the language, but. I'll probably go there. I figured I'll meet some wrestlers and check that out. It'll be the first time I've ever been to one of those yeah. wrestler events. So I figured I'll check that out. WrestleCon is an experience. And then there's always like a bunch of um, shows going on during that week too. So that it, it is an experience. There's so much wrestling going on that 
if you didn't go to WrestleMania, like there's still going to be tons of wrestling going on. That that yeah, you know, I've never been. Yeah, I've never been an indie guy either. Going to indie shows, I went to a Ring of Honor show in Philly, probably like when I was in high school. That's because the tickets were free, and that's like the only. And that was okay. That was a pretty cool. But that was the only like, that was the only show besides WWE that I ever went to. Was well, a Ring got, of Honor way back in the day. It's fun. It's fun. You know. Especially like those like live events, like the the live indie shows. Well, not those those televised live indie shows, but um, those shows you go with your friends, and it's the same. It's more because it's more intimate. The energy and the sound is so much. It seems it's so crazy to say, but it seems so much bigger and so much funner. And you could just cheer, boo, get you saw these new characters that you didn't realize you didn't know or you do know. And then get so into it. It's it's an experience. I say you you need to attend at least one. Yeah, That's, I'll probably check it out. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll probably check it out. I don't watch much wrestling lately, honestly. Comes on so much. I've kind of been in and out with wrestling. I haven't consistently watched WWE in years. Actually, want I want to ask you. Hello, you keep breaking up. No. Am I on? Yeah, I can hear you. You just keep breaking in and out a little bit. Oh, so sorry. What were you gonna ask me? I could hear you. Uh, last you'll... time I watched, last time I watched wrestling for an extended period of time was like during COVID. And was that you? That was always watching. It was always a, a Latin girl that looked like you, like every week in one of the videos. Was that you? I don't know if somebody no. asked you that before. Everyone kept saying that to me. I was like, I wish she's. I was like, well, oh, everyone, well, that's that's such a compliment because. Whoever that was, she she was pretty. I don't like. I didn't see. I don't think I look like her. But then I could see how people could think I look like her. So it was well, a compliment, kind of, huge compliment. It, the way she would react though was like it, yeah, because she'd always do this. You know, you always do that. You know, you're constantly doing this, and she would always do that. You know, put her hand by her nose. I thought for sure that was you, and she would and, always react to everything. But I've never heard you talk about that before. The deep fake of me. Oh, you know that could be a possibility that WWE could have put AI images of people. Oh yeah, with AI, that's gonna happen. Yeah, Stone right. Cold's coming back with AI. In a few years, you're gonna bring Stone Cold back with AI and The Rock and all them. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, that but cracks another thing, I don't think you ever talked about. So I asked you a lot of questions before, but another thing, I'm surprised. Was this just a um a, a talking or or did you get a, a, a um eight by ten? Oh no, I didn't get a I didn't get a autograph. I, I already got a couple of them. Yeah, I'll probably get another one soon in the future. I got a couple of them. I just figured I don't need like ten of them. But I'm <laughs> I, I'll make it quick. I'm sure there's a lot of people waiting, just like I was. One more question. Uh, I'm surprised you never got into acting after uh, leaving. WWE. Did you ever think about that? Because I'm assuming, I don't know where you live, I'm assuming you live close to LA. Yeah. To where I'm surprised you never hooked up with a manager to try to get into acting. I thought, you know, you had the talent, you had the, the charisma and the promos. How come you never thought about that? Tried to oh, go down that road? Because a lot of people have, clearly wrestlers. Those things, whether people understand it or don't understand it, um, it's so funny how you could say the truth and then people will either twist it around or get upset. And it that, I, it's, ends up being a thing when you're a, a wrestler or, or I don't know, when it could, or Melina <laughs> or people who are in the limelight. But whether you understand it or don't, and I, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the, anybody else watching this. Well, the way I felt coming out of wrestling, like uh, it was a thing, it was a thing that I thought I could do because everyone keeps telling me that since I'm not my character, then I'm a good actress because I'm obviously like so not my character that I could do this and I wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. But it's something, it's one thing was it was John's dream. So I thought I would be a supportive like partner in supporting his dream because I got to get all these titles and I got to be, you know, what I did in wrestling. And I felt like um, he was going through a time where he felt like he wasn't. He didn't fulfill all the things he wanted to fulfill. And I thought it was my, it would, I would be better use in his life 
if I was just a person who supported his dreams, whether it came to, you know, titles and wrestling and acting at that time. So I kind of took a back seat. And then in time, through time, it kind of, insecurities kind of got to me where I'm not thin enough. I'm not like, I'm getting older, like all these things like were in my, I, and at that point I was my, I was the person in my own way. And in reality, I just kind of, I think sometimes fate happens. So it could be a choice. It could be things that I thought that I chose to take a back seat and I chose to have fears, but maybe that's, it happens for a reason because now I'm a part of Ultimate Women of Wrestling and maybe that's what I'm meant to do because I feel like it's right. And I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be, but who knows? I see a lot of characters um, on TV where they're older women and they're amazing. They're just amazing. They're well, strong, strong characters. So it makes me think, you know what? I didn't choose that route years ago, but it's never too late. So you never know. Yeah, hopefully. And you mentioned, yeah, there are women in WWE that are older now. And let's face it, they're assholes for letting you go all those years ago. And the fact that they never brought you back is just, they're assholes. So screw them for that. But there's a lot of what are you going to do? That's that's a whole nother, you know, that's probably a whole nother highway to go down where there's a bunch of a lot of things there's you can a lot say about that. But. but everything, I'm so grateful for the experiences I had because I did get to do a lot, even though politics is in play and there's a lot of things that like everybody else, if you were behind the scenes, if you weren't in behind the scenes in WWE, and it's not my place to say at this point in time when it comes to the things that ha go on backstage, but there's a lot of things you guys don't understand. And it's interesting, like um, uh, Alicia Fox and I keep talking about all these things that everybody doesn't understand. But and when it comes to perception, it's pretty amazing. Like I'm, I'm writing everything down thinking, wow, this is so interesting how we saw things from the outside looking in, how we saw things from the inside feeling like there's nowhere else to go. And then now that we've experienced it all, how we see things in, as a whole. It's so intriguing, but we need to find the words on how to explain it to everybody else of what this world is. And there's a lot of beautiful things about it, but there's also a lot of things that like I could, it's like these things about how I was perceived as a problematic person when I never was, because all I did was do my job and wait till I was told I was so, I was so quiet. And so um, I didn't know how to interact with people that I just waited and sat around until I told, was told what I was supposed to do. And it's like, okay, then I think about it, prepare, and then go and do my thing and then come back and be quiet. Like, if you didn't say, <laughs> sorry to cut you off, but if you didn't say anything, why were you always looked at as a problem since you brought that up? So I always thought that was ridiculous. Like I worked <laughs> at UPS for a long time. Like it's like a second job I have. I got two jobs. One of them's at night shift at UPS. And people come and go constantly because they can't take it. They quit left and right. So I'm constantly working with new guys. They don't talk a lot. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't I don't go bad mouth that person. I don't act like, oh, I don't like this person because he doesn't talk to me. I don't care. As long as he does his job and, you know, helps me when I need him to help and says hello when I say hello, you know, that's all that really matters. I don't I don't need to have a conversation with him. I don't need to know how his, how his mother's doing. You know what I mean? I don't need to be best friends with him. I just, as long as he does his job, who cares if he doesn't say hello in passing? Who cares if he doesn't? Tell me how many brothers and sisters he has. You know I what I mean? So I don't get why you but it's not why you get bad now for being like that. You know what I mean? Backstage environment doesn't work that way. It's it's right. this thing where say like your job, you you like you said, you know that it's gonna be a high turnout, like turnout rate where people come in, then they leave. They don't last very long, right? But if you notice a person who's starting to last and starting to stick around, and they might take away or compete with your job or your position in the job. And that's the way I never understood it myself because my personality, I, I was raised in EWF, like, uh, like it, what the way I, we were there, they took care of me. So I never experienced like this bad stuff in the Indies. And I get why a lot of the people who experienced what they ex experienced, they experienced a lot of dark stuff. So when they come into another environment, I know, I understand why they treat others the way they do because they've been treated that way and they have that guard up. And I understand that. And I was lucky enough to not experience that, 
But then at the same time, I didn't understand that. So I wasn't ready and prepared for that interaction of why people are treating me that way. But when you're getting a lot of TV time and your status and your position is important and depends on that TV time, if the person that is like I'm competition to, I'm getting more TV time than that person, then I'm the person to shoot down and to, so then you could get your spot again. And it, it's an interesting thing that I, I just always figured if we're all in this together, we need each other, right? But it's not their fault. Like, this is the thing. I'm not criminalizing anybody. I'm not saying that these people are awful. People do what they feel like they need to do in order to survive or pursue their dream. And I understand why they did what they did. But I would never do that to anybody else. And I stand by that all these years later. If people want to say I'm fake, if they want to say like, oh, I don't know, I think she's lying. Um, if I've never said anything bad about anybody, not really. If I said the truth of, hey, somebody kind of, they're not saying the truth about something. I'm not calling them a liar, but they didn't say the truth. And it's not my position to unravel their story because I'm trying to protect their story in order to tell as much truth as I can. I'm trying my best to protect them. I'm not a person to tell everybody's story. I'm not a person to ruin anybody's life. I will never do that. That is not me. And I will not do what people did to me. I will never be that person. Yeah. I don't want to. But if you see my track record of how many times have I said awful things about somebody? Hey, if you pick out two things, then damn, that's good. Like if you take somebody yeah. like people, all they do is bury everybody. And I'm like, why do you do that? Why do you bury people? How does that benefit you? How does that make you feel better in life? I rather live. Yeah, you I, that, but that's just the way I see things. It doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean that's the best way and I'm the best person in the world. I just choose to live my life uplifting and trying my best. Am I perfect? No. Do I always like, am I the best at holding back my anger? No. I'm human, but I'm always going to do my best to to not ever say anything negative and to be appreciative of all the things that the world has blessed me with. And in that environment, I utilized my blessings. There was a lot of bad things that I wish, I don't wish upon anybody to ever experience, but it is what it is. And it hurts me. It hurts me that when people treated me awful, all I wanted was friends. All I wanted was friends. and. They decided to hate me, no matter what that reason was. And it hurts because I'm human, but it doesn't make them a bad person. It's just the experience well, of life. Well, hopefully if you do write that book, you'll you'll name those people's names and call them out specifically in the book. Because you, yeah, I, I get it, you only do it in interviews, but you should do it in the book, why not? No. They deserve to be called out if that's the case. They deserve to be called out. But yeah, you do never say anything negative about people. I think you probably should, because then maybe you'll get a job back in WWE. Because so many other people that bad off the company, they constantly bring back. I'm just messing around, but I look at these people they constantly bring back and they do shoot interviews just bashing the company, just burying them, but it's, it's like Maria and, and people like that, they'll constantly bring back to make them look bad, but they'll still bring them back. But you know, it is what it is. Okay, that's it. That's interesting. Life. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, okay, you got a point a little bit. I think everything happens the way it needs to. It happens in the universe yeah. it needs to. And it, in that sense, it's like, I think some people need to go back more than I do, like in their souls, in their, because that's what they want. And I want them to go back. I like, if they need that, do it. I'm happy. I'm happy with UWW and doing, it may not be on a big scale you know on a bigger platform i may not be yeah. acknowledged in all these facets of wrestling as like this big star and i don't need to i don't need that i'm happy with the little contributions i do here and there because that fulfills me that's all that matters is what fills this little heart of mine <laughs> and yeah. it's like, i'm not gonna bury nobody jomo you're always you're good at what you do you're good at these <laughs> 
but I know I just I just I'm just the kind of guy like I don't care like I don't hold back I say how I feel it is what it is so if somebody was an asshole I would call them out I was never in wrestling but I've been in environments where people were assholes working with people that have said negative things and I got no problem calling them out whether they're my boss whether they're this and that I just I don't avoid confrontation I get it you you're you're really nice you don't want to go down that road I respect that about you thing what if what if you take say I write the book I don't say these names, but the public's opinion of how a person acts, that person sees that and they could change. They have, you could give them the chance to change. But if I ever said their names and they want to change and they, they, or they did change and they became good people, what's the point of ruining their lives when they're, they're just being human. So just give them well, that change because everybody can be a better person. And I know people hate I don't know that. Which <laughs> like I, well, I don't know what stories you have to tell, but I think it, if you, you, you say the person's name and call them out, they'll, they'll be more likely to change because they're going to get the criticism. Mm -hmm. Like the Mickey James thing, for one. Uh, years back, she got released. Remember, you hear me? Remember yeah. the, uh, the, the bag? She got her stuff in a trash bag sent to her when she got released. If she didn't call them out on Twitter, the person doesn't get fired and WWE probably never changes the way they do business that way. But because she called them out, that put WWE under a lot of pressure and that brought change for the better. But if she doesn't do that, because that's been going on, I heard for years and wrestlers don't call them out. If she did, she did. And that caused and brought about change. You know what I mean? So sometimes I think calling we, people out could be a good thing. Of, we don't know the full scope of that because so I don't know if she publicly said anything different. But what I was told was she was just joking and it was just a joke. And that she felt bad that she got a person fired. She's that she never attended that. So this is a thing. Yeah. We can joke and then everybody villainizes somebody when they don't really know the whole story. And that's why we should never villainize people because we don't know what we're saying. We take something and we make it fact and true when it's not. And that and then a whole witch hunt happens and it ruins people's lives. Like my life got ruined over falsehoods, over lies. And I never want to contribute to that, not one bit. Revenge is not, it will not satisfy my soul. And you know what, even calling people out, do you think calling a, a person out, if that, true, if that person truly was awful, do you think that would change that person? They would probably continue being who they are. Because some people- well, Yeah, it probably depends on who it is. I don't, it probably depends on who it is. But if they're a good person, I don't want to ruin their life. Not at all. So I guess that's only my perception of how I see things. That's only my perception. I understand. I just got my, yeah, I got a point of view. I understand that, though. I respect that. So there's no no problems with that. I, that's give just, you I just think if okay. you treat somebody bad, I think you deserve to get called out for it. You've always, I know you've always been a positive and. Especially when you're talking about. You've always been supportive. And I know that, that the, it's all comes from the support you have and that. And how you want things to be righted. And I get it. I get where your heart comes from. And I know it's a beautiful thing. So I thank you for that. It's like it's like you're my like my brother would react the same way of wanting to protect me. Like, okay, like who is it? <laughs> who is it? <laughs> and I feel this way. I'm also feel this way because I'm assuming, you know, when you were on SmackDown, there was mostly guys there. So I'm assuming when you're talking about people treating you bad, they're guys. And it's one thing if a woman treats you bad, you don't want women are catty. I got three sisters, trust me. They probably all got in fistfights with each other at least one point when I was growing up. I think you're forgetting if, how if a guy's gonna talk bad about a woman, no, they deserve to get called up. And see, you're proving my point of how you think that there wasn't very many women on the roster when in reality there was a lot of women on the roster, but you didn't on see SmackDown? them. Mm -hmm. Except they didn't get the TV time, and that's why people start gunning for that TV time. Because if you could only remember that I was on there. That means I took, like in their perception, I took their spot. There was a lot of women on there. They just didn't get the TV time. And if I could change things, I would. Like if I had control or anything, but I didn't. I was a newbie and they just gave me time, which made me the most hated female on the roster because I got the TV time that other people wanted or the girls. If I could give everybody tv time i would have but i didn't have that control 
I was just and people who wanted to live her dream and tread it very lightly and it didn't work. <laughs> and you can't give everyone the talent you had either. That's what it comes down to as well. It's not like you were just lucky and they picked you to get all the TV. You were really good and talented and deserving of that TV time as well. Don't take anything away from yourself like you were just lucky and they just picked you. No, you were also more talented than most of those other girls and deserved the TV time more. Don't sell yourself short. I do feel like I have an act of um, making others, bringing out the best in each person because I do did see their qualities. Like I see their weaknesses and their talents. And so I start, you know, figure things out and try to bring out their strengths. And I, I have a knack for that. And I do feel like I had a knack for certain storytellings in wrestling. But I do believe that you never know what a person, if they're like, they didn't, WWE didn't know their talents because they didn't give them the opportunity. So maybe if they did, then we can see that. Yes, absolutely. You're there, you froze up, I think. I'll get off now anyway. I'm sure there's a lot of... I know, we talked a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably get off here because I know a lot of people are probably waiting. I can talk for hours and hours about stuff. Oh, There's a lot of things I can help you. Know. you. Oh, I know how much you talk from from cameo. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure though. I love talking. So, I mean, coming from a person who used to never talk, like I really do appreciate when I start interacting with people. So, it makes my heart happy. No problem. And before I leave, you ain't got to talk about, but Trinity. Not WWE. That match could happen. At least the tag match could happen. No reason it can't. Right? But that'll be all. Yes. I love her so much. I would love to tag with her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a great day. You too. Take care. Keep smiling. By the way, the Phillies are going to win the World Series. This is the year. Tell your brother this is the year they win the World Series. We got screwed last year. It ain't going to happen this year. I like the way you have to shit talk before you leave. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how you get remembered. That's how you That's get remembered. Right. Oh. Uh, have a good one. You too. <laughs> You're take awesome. Care. Oh, it's good to see your face. You take care too. You too. You're awesome. <laughs> so next we're going to have, what was it? Did you say Matt? Wait, is Matt here? Matt, hopefully I don't freeze. I hope I don't freeze again. Matthew. So let me know when Matthew is online and I'll chat with people. Have great conversation with Jomo. He's awesome. Oh, Fusion XZ, uh, X0 Prime. Thank you for saying about my energy. What was it? So, okay, so I started watching the videos for WSI because my brother kept telling me, he's like, you did you do a video, um interview for that? And I was like, oh, yeah, I did, huh? And then I went to go see some of them. And somebody said that, like, my, like, I, I look like or sound like I'm high. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. But it's not the first time I've heard that. So my bubbly and happy personality, I guess, I think when it comes to people who don't experience happy per people or bubbly people, energetic people with energy. They kind of assume that that's like drunk or high or something. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm probably drunk or high on life. So, <laughs> which is a good thing because I rather be fueled by happiness and love and all that stuff than anything else. So that makes me happy, but it all comes down to energy, right? So if I'm high energy, which is weird because I like to sleep a lot. <laughs> it's to me that's all that matters and if it's a few people or a lot if my positivity and happiness can make other people smile or happy or feel loved or just feel like they want to sit around and chat 
then I want that. I love that. And I, you know, I, I'm all for that. I do not reject that at all. I'm a person who wants to keep giving. And I guess because I needed that when I was younger, or I needed that throughout wrestling, that I want to be that person to keep giving to you guys, whether it's happiness, energy, positivity, or I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, well, you know, if I was in the dirt sheets because somebody said I like came up with some kind of rumor that was a weird where I'm like, that didn't happen, but cool. <laughs> Keeping that crazy person alive, I guess. It keeps my name alive, I guess, or the character. I just kind of laugh at it, but whatever it is that keeps things going where it, I don't know, adds to somebody's day, whether it's even the negative stuff. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I just want to be able to make you guys smile and entertain you guys, but mostly make you smile and happy. That's, that's usually the main plan that I am. And uh, what is it? I am a quirky character. I am unique. So just to let you guys know, before Danny brings Matt on, when it comes to that topic of, Check message on chat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Checking the message. So I see burning element, Danielle. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? Oh, wait. So I'm sorry I put you on highlight. Okay, I need to read it myself. Oh, okay. Okay, so swimsuit and centerfold. But swimsuit centerfold. Wait, swimsuit. What I was going to say earlier, though, let me finish my thought just in case if there's anybody who's like me out there, because I know I'm a special, unique little personality. Um, I, I guess a lot of people want to be like, what was it, Monica or Rachel in Friends? If you guys ever watch Friends, if you're like, I know younger generation. Probably never watched it, but it's like these characters where it's, you know, the hot girl and whatnot. Everybody wanted to be them, but I always wanted to be, not that I always wanted to be Phoebe, but you know what? I just am more of a, like naturally I'm a Phoebe type, like a, I'm a quirky. So that's kind of how my personality is and not everybody's going to like it, but hey, it is what it is. So I, I send nothing but love to everybody whether they accept and understand or enjoy my personality or not send nothing but love so i just want to let that be known anybody who's watching if you say anything negative or do not i'm not your cup of tea it's okay <laughs> it's okay i still hope you have a great day still send you so much love and i still hope that you have the happiest times of your life in the nows and every day of your life I will still hope for that for you. You don't have to like me for me to wish you the best. So that's all I got to say before I go to Matt. So Matthew, we're putting the swimsuit centerfold all for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Hmm. And hopefully through Danielle, Danielle could tell me. If you're cool with that, if I get the thumbs up or not. You can hear my dogs. They're like wrestling back there. You hear the growls. Anybody out there who has puppies or pets, like dogs, their energy they're like the ring the girl from the ring they never stop and they never sleep they're always like puppy wrestling all the time <laughs> but you know those are the kind of things where it's like oh. but I love them I love them Little hoodlums. I never do the hugs and kisses, but for you, Matthew, today, I wanted to even it out. I wanted to even it out. 
because I felt like it was unbalanced. So here you go. This is the one, the swimsuit. And the next one, maybe I'll do red. Little baby girl, I'm doing stuff. I have my dog right here. She's trying to get up on my lap. <laughs> Baby girl. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna fight over here. Oh no, they're gonna fight over here. <laughs> You're so cute. Sorry, man. You're probably gonna get mad at me. Oh, I was gonna show you guys the puppies because anybody who's watching who knows about my puppies, they were like this small. Now like they're this big. Like they got big. Okay, back to you, Matt. I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, my little Puma. What you want, Boo Boo? Oh, Asher. <laughs> I think they're trying, they're fighting over who gets to go in my lap. I can't hold you right now, Bubba. Okay. So, Matthew. Here we go. Let's see. Make sure you know I see that Matt. Oh, wait. Oh, I showed you that. This is what happens when I get distracted. Okay. Here we go. And then the like, signature over, boop, right there. So I'll check the messages because now I'm learning to check the chat to see. Is that motor? What does that say? What? Dogs playing. Oh, you guys think the sound of the, the puppies are growling is the motor? <laughs> oh my goodness. My scarf. I actually got the scarf from Amazon. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wish it was like from like an airport or something cute. No, it was from Amazon. I love scarves, by the way. So I do. I love scarves so much. I like also collect, um, I also collect little like pins and buttons and all this stuff because I like the look of it. <laughs> Thank you for noticing, everybody who noticed. Every time I see your videos, you put a smile on my face. Oh, Gary, thank you. I'm trying to look for, for Danny to see if um if I'm good. Oh wait, wait, look, Danny at Burning Element. Let me know if you're going to order so we can fit it into the show today. Yeah, anybody? Okay, so I'm gonna do a semi last call right now. So if anybody wants to do get an eight by ten, or you could also get um talk to me one on one on here for the moment because usually on the site on uh, realmelina.com. I'll do um, Zooms. So it's 10 minute Zooms with people. And I think that's like $60. So it's actually cheaper for today during the live stream. So I'm putting it cheaper for today if anybody wants to talk one on one um, face to face. So we're doing that. And we're also doing the eight by 10. So everything on realmelina.com, go to the website. I think Danny posted the link earlier, but go to realmelina.com. On that front page, there's a a link press anything on that front page and that'll send you to the store and on the store it'll you know just purchase your item and we'll put you up on the on this live stream right now so just i wanted to confirm danny that that matt like this like matt's cool with this let me know is matt cool with it i want to i want to get like approval thank you so much love them you have such a wonderful personality thank you matt oh <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you for saying that. Oh, that warms my heart. That's all. I Again, the way Jomo was saying earlier, because we talk about a book, and I know I've talked about that for years. And I do want to write a book because it's not about burying people. It's not about like, it's about life experiences. It's about a journey that we all take, that we could all understand each other in this life. It may be different worlds. It may be wrestling, you know, not a, like not everybody does that as a profession. But when it comes to love, life, hardships, 
we all struggle and go through stuff like that in our lives. And if we could find a connection, that's all what it's meant to be. And my personality type, I feel like, uh, I don't know, people have always found it weird. I guess not weird, but unusual. So when people appreciate my personality, I'm very grateful. But I had a family that was positive and I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have a family that was positive and loving. And to me, when I encounter genuinely good people who are kind, I don't think it's fake because I know what real, real kindness is. And I don't think it's, I don't shut it down and dismiss it because I learned to, you know, um, when you have something that's special, that's kindness, like you guys, I'm, I like going to meet you guys and going to conventions and doing this, interacting with you all, because I appreciate when you, when there's something good in front of you, you don't let that go. You, you wrap it around, you, know, you wrap your arms around it and not let it go type of stuff. So I appreciate goodness. So just keep that in mind in life where I hope everybody reaches the point of appreciating goodness and good moments and happiness when it's in front of them. Cause there's so many bad moments, you know, life is full of like, you know, crazy things that happen. Like, uh, you know, on its own, when a pipe bursts or something like TV goes out or tire blows out, things happen in life or, you know, and heaven forbid the major things like cancer or tornadoes and natural disasters type of stuff, like heaven forbid those things, but it happens. So we got to appreciate the goodness while we can and appreciate each other while we can. So Matthew, I keep calling you Matthew. Sorry. I love, I don't know why I do this thing where I take somebody's name and I make it long. Everybody else loves nicknames, but I love like long names. So I'm sorry to keep calling you that. Matt, I got to learn to respect people who want their names to be short. So Matt, thank you. Thank you for your positivity and your kindness. And I'm sending lots of love and positivity to you. <laughs> uh, everybody's awesome. I see that people are, there's another um, purchase. So we'll still stay on for as long as people keep buying stuff. Like, But I will answer questions in between as we get everything ready. Because I know Danny's sending me messages. Oh, I see you, Matt. You know what? You put it up. Oh, Danielle, thank you. So Danielle put the link for the straight into the virtual signing products that you could purchase. The two for 50, Isaac, the two for 50, you whatever's on the on the live stream or on the account on the my online store, you just pick two items, whatever two uh, eight by tens that you want. I'll sign them for you. Or if you want to buy one, like one's for a family member or friend and the other's for yourself, then I'll sign it to whoever you need me to. And then you go on here and you're with me on the screen and then we get to talk to each other. That's the part I love. I love talking to each and every one of you guys face to face. So that makes my heart happy. And even if you don't want to be seen, you could leave the screen off and I'll talk to you, talk to your voice. And I still love that stuff. As long as I get to interact with you guys, that makes me happy. Is she reading from this chat? Yeah, Boo Boo Gang. I, I have my moments. So I, I didn't get to everybody, but I'm trying to. It's also expressing buried emotions. Oh, I don't know what you were talking about, but I like the sound of like describing certain emotions as buried. I like that. I had to write some of those down. This is good. Oh, Danny, you did explain it. Oh, you're so good. We need more weird in this world. Fusion, I am telling you, I am so for that. <laughs> I, I consider it as like people who think things outside the box. Or I love different perceptions because no matter if it's weird or not weird, I love a lot of people. Like everybody I talk to teaches me something. So whatever the category people like to la label others. I love everybody. So everybody I talk to is always teaching me something and broadening my mind. And I love that so much. But I do love weird though. It's kind of like the way I love the intricacies of, of villains on TV shows. It's just that when you understand them or see them, they're so, 
it's something deep, you know, that they experience, the character experienced, and that makes them human, and that makes you think, like, oh my goodness, I feel bad for you, or I under, or if only something like this, like, there's something that triggers deep within your soul when you see an in-depth character, and whether you hate them or love them, it's intriguing, but when it comes to, like, odd characters or weird characters, to get to know them and see their, their, their mindsets it's like oh that's unique let's see let's let's find out more about you i love that or their outrageous energy not outrageous happy positive very passionate or soulful energy i love it i love it you guys are awesome i love all of this it was nice chatting with you Molly. oh michael so great chatting with you oh am i really behind i'm really behind aren't i oh danny thank you She's like on it. She's just on it. Farm life mob. Melina, this stream has been so fun. Ah, oh, farm life mob. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm intrigued by your name. Like, is that like one of those apps, those games where they do the, the farm, like on Facebook or something? That was a long time ago, but I still remember it. I love you guys. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys thought it was fun. That makes my heart happy. Let's see, Chad said, I stopped collecting site eight by tens and started collecting ring worn personal items. So hopefully the next time you might have something to sell. You know what? Okay, so Chad, let me throw this out there. Cause again, this is Danny and I learning and all this stuff. It, would it be, should I set up like a mailing list? So then you guys know when I'm going to, cause I figured I'll just post it online, right? But apparently like not a lot of people look at all the social medias sometimes. So, would it be easier to have like a mailing list so that I can announce when there's a uh, live auction or a virtual signing? Would that be would that be a possibility? Would that be something that that would help in the letting you know, notify you when it comes to selling um, an item? So that's that's a question that I'm going to ask. Let's see. Oh, Isaac. That's the name of the town? Farm Life? Farm Life Mob is the name of your town? Oh, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> I need to visit this town. <laughs> Let's see. Do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. That's the name of my town. Okay, I put that. You need to confirm for or you need to tell her which two to sign. Okay, Isaac. So Isaac is not. Okay, so I'm reading the, the chats right now. Is Isaac not wanting to be on screen, but wants the item signed? Where? Chad said mailing list. I'm just gonna wait. I love this so much though. I get so happy at least like talking to you guys. You guys have made all this fun. So much fun. Farm life, lol. Farm life is the name of the town? Where? What state? I'm going to Google this. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I love this so much. Hi, Jeffrey. I can't be on screen now. I'm in a noisy downtown San Bernardino. Oh, you're in San Bernardino? You're like down near Jesse's area, Jesse's school. Aw, San Bernardino. Why did we used to say that? Do you, like, has anybody said that to you? I remember back in the day, people used to tell me that. And I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden they said it so much that it's stuck in my mind. It's okay. But as long as I can sign your stuff. Do you know which two do you want? Can you describe it for me? Just type it all down. Oh, Isaac. Well, hopefully at some point I could see your face. I would love to see everybody's faces. That's how you know, like, you know, who you're talking to and, and to see their smiles and expressions and the way their eyes twinkle. I hope my eyes twinkle. I guess those are the little things that I hope that uh, before the end of my days or before, even before I get any older, that people can see the like light in my eyes of how much I care about each and every one of you, especially my friends, you know, if there's any friends out there watching this, like, you know, Rick, anybody, 
Thea, I'm like Sarah, anyone, Robert, <laughs> you guys better know I love you. You better know I love you. It'll hurt my heart. It'll break my heart if you guys don't know and see it. I wish there was something that like, ah, uh, that you know, bring my heart. Sanctioned by Melina and Red Carpet Champ. So Red Carpet Champ, oh, sanctioned. Here we go. Isaac, thank you. Okay, so then I could get you, oh, I could get you what you want ordered. So I think I'm going to use a white so it could hopefully pop. And I'll put Isaac, right? Signing it to you? Am I signing both of them to you? Or, or are we doing for a friend or family member? I ask because some people do that and I'm like, oh, that's okay. I always, you got to catch me before I start signing your name. Because I will sign your name. To you, okay. Oh. So double A, yes. I'm so surprised my dogs aren't fighting anymore. Oh. I, don't know, I feel like I hear like, I hear airplanes going off, like flying around outside. So here we go. Hopefully you like the the white print. Oh, did I touch it? Oh, oh. Oh, my God. oh my God. Of course I do stuff like that. I was touching the 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 signature. I scared myself right there. So hopefully, let me see. Hopefully you like that. Oh good. Okay, I'm gonna do your sanctioned one right now. Would you still want the white? Is that the white still good? Or oh wait, silver. All right? Or silver. Let's see. Okay, tell me uh, white or silver. I know, I know. You're probably like, whatever, Molina. <laughs> silver. Tell me now before I do it. Silver. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Let's see. So out of a curiosity, Isaac, like, have you, have you lived in the Inland Empire all, all like for, since you were a kid or I don't know how old you are, but I'm curious of how long you've been around here. Exclamation point. Put love always. And then my signature. Hopefully I can read what you said right now because my head's down. Uh, what did he say? Where is it? I was born in Elsinore. After graduate, moved to San Bernardino. Regardless. Okay, so I put what I said just because in my heart I'm still a child. I put that you're an Inland Empire child just like me. That means we're family. Because let's face it, we're still kids. At heart. <laughs> uh, I hope you like them. Um, what do you think, Isaac? Do I get approval? Oh, 
that makes me happy. Oh, Isaac. I hopefully am um, in the future because I'm going to be working with um, EWF. So, so, uh, oh my goodness. It's Empire Wrestling Federation. Huh. I'm so used to calling it School of Hard Knocks that when I say EWF, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so if you, it'll be on my website soon. So I'm going to do an EWF page, just like I have a UWW page. But um, EWF is in you know, based out of San Bernardino and they do shows all along, you know, Southern California. So hopefully one of these days um, at an event that I'm going to be at, like I could see you in person. So hopefully, so I'll be able, I'll be, I'll be posting it on realmelina.com under my events page. So anybody in California, Southern California, who lives in the Inland Empire, Look, check back at ring, realmelina.com in the event section because I will be coming around soon to visit people to be a part of EWF in the future. So in the next couple months. So look at, check back at the events for that. So I think we got everybody, did we? I've been wanting to train at the school, but I've been uh, trying to get more fit first. Well, the only thing I could say when it comes to something like that is because that's a great um, that's a great way of looking at it. Like, you know, you want like you want to be at your best before you go in there. But then at the same time, you don't want too much time to pass before you get started because you can always get fit while training. So and plus, there's a lot of um, the last time I went. And that's what I also want to go back to that because the boxing there i love boxing so i i, I want them to tr uh i want to go back to getting trained uh doing the boxing training again but they have that there at the school and they also do drills in training so that's something like they everybody groups off so the kids support each other so i say the kids uh, i sound like old person but the um students the students you know they they train they help each other in motivating each other and inspiring each other so i think you know go out I'll go over there and try out a class or two and maybe you'll think i'll go once a week at least you know start off or once every other week maybe start off small and then keep going and you'll you'll love it you'll enjoy it there's a lot of great people there I've met some of the uh, some of the students there. I think it was a week ago. I love them so much. I can't wait to go back and, and see them again because they're really great people. They're learning a lot. I was like very proud of them. So it's good to see all these kids like learning the ropes. It's like I love it so much. <laughs> sorry, I get all gooey. There's they're my kids. You guys are my kids. I'm sorry. I love it. Let's see. Well. Then I promise that you, within a year, I will have started training. I'll probably be there um, more more often, cons more consistently by then. So I would love to see you there. That would make me happy. Young Macho Savage. Si puedo hablar español, pero no estoy bien fluida. Me da, ¿cómo se dice que me da pena? O me da lástima. Sí, yo creo que así se dice. Me da lástima per, um, de no hablar más español, pero necesito. Cuando voy a EWF, voy a hablar más español. Lo, lo prometo. I understand it. It's just it, when I speak, when I speak, I forget words. And, you know, I do that with English. And then when it comes to Spanish, I think it's a... My my shyness comes out. It's like I'm my young version, the, my young self when I was a little kid, and people used to make fun of me on how I spoke. So when I would speak Spanish, people would make fun of me all the time, and it and it's not anything bad. This is a sad thing when it comes to kids. You know, you get hurt really easily, and and when people say certain things to you, it stays in your mind, and it's so real to you, even though. It wasn't even truth for the most part, probably. But when I was younger, they would say that I sound, in Spanish, we say um, chiquiada. And I think that's like spoiled or something that my voice, and I do, I have a, I don't know, I have this, 
Thea would tell me, and compared to interviews that I've done 10 years ago, my voice has changed, but I still have that element of, I guess, like she would call it a baby voice. I call it a cartoon voice because I don't, I try to think like, well, it's not too babyish, is it? Or maybe a childlike voice. I don't know. But uh, I do have this, like, this voice that's, I guess, baby esque or child child esque. And when they say I was chiqueada, that means I had like I did baby voice all the time. And that's just the way I spoke when I was a kid. And more so when I spoke Spanish. So when I heard that, it made me not want to speak. And I think that also contributed to my shyness, whether it was English or Spanish. So I think that's what probably happened. But I remember that so distinctly. So that's why I don't um I guess I kind of have that still to figure out when it comes to speaking Spanish. But in EWF, I told everybody there, I'm gonna speak Spanish with each and every one of you because I need to start learning. Or not learning, I know it. I just need to practice speaking it. And that'll help a lot. It's time, it's never too late, you guys. It's never too late to do anything you dream of, anything you want. It's never too late. So last call right now, because what time is it, Daniel? I'm sorry I talk so much. You are an angel for listening to me. Everybody watching, thank you. <laughs> I just like to talk to people that I forget, that I forget like the time. So everybody who's putting up with me, thank you, your sweethearts. I love you. And let's see, what does this say? Oh, and I'm using my phone, so it's like, oh. Hi, Emily, I just wanted to let you know I've been wrestling six years. Oh. Thanks to you, I've been a fan of yours since I was 12. Oh, and, and thank you so much. Also, we have the same name. Oh, do we? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it so much. And I know you weren't named after me, but there's, I already wrote, I already wrote a section of a part. Like, if I were to ever actually publish this book, I have a section in my book for all the Molinas out there. And it's so intriguing because what would I be? Who would I be? It, it's funny how a name could kind of um, change your whole life or your tra tra the trajectory of your life. I'm sorry I keep messing with my bangs. I really, <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much. Like, what is going on with my hair? Sorry. Okay, who cares? But when it comes to a name, it's it makes me think, like, what would my life be if I wasn't Melina? Like, what would my life be like? And as much as growing up, no one could even pronounce my name or our name. Nobody, there was no, there's no like pins or you go to Six Flags and there, or any kind of truck stop where they have like those license plates of people's names or um, those keychains. Our name is not there. <laughs> so as much as like, there is no acknowledgement of that name being out there, it, it's so intriguing how that has shaped my life so much. And the funny thing is, is that Melina is not that character on TV. And I always tell everybody, Melina is creativity and it's also um, kindness, it's sweetness. Melina is Greek for honey. And I really believe that all the Melinas I've met have been so sweet. So like, oh my goodness. It's like when I find a Pisces, and we we're like, hey, I'm a Pisces, you're a Pisces, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then we're all so super happy. That's the way it is whenever I find a, a Melina. Like, they're so sweet, and just, like, we all hug each other. It's like, what? Are, are you sure we're not family? Are you sure it's just the name? Like, are you sure you're not my child? <laughs> and that's the way it always goes. I really do believe that something about our name has this connection. And if I ever feel like I meet a bad Molina, I would think, what happened to you, child? Like, come here, tell mama, tell mama what happened to you? <laughs> but I've never met one. So it's it's always good to meet you, to meet each and every one of you. Like you're you're either my sister, my child, I don't know your age, but in my mind, we're family. We're family, because your name. I hope that you have fun with this. When it comes to wrestling, have fun with it. And do it because you love it. Don't listen to anybody if they ever tell you that you don't have what it takes or that or whatever the negatives. Like, you know, people to say negatives because it's kind of like uh, if you ever ran a race in cross country, this is what we were taught to do. 
I didn't do it because I was like, what? I'm I, I'm trying to focus on running fast. Like I'm not going to do all this other stuff. They they teach you how to elbow people. So then you could get the upper hand. Even then that was not me. <laughs> but you're going to get people who do that because they want to get the upper hand. And I get it. That's the way they were taught. But don't listen to them. That has nothing to do with you. You focus, you stay forward, keep your eyes on the prize and do what you love. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll have no regrets when you do it, when you love it. And just keep on doing that and keep on being that beautiful soul that you are. And I am proud of you. So sorry, I had to say all that. I had to tell my Molina all that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So... I think I should. Oh, there's so many things. Like, though, there's all these people I want to say stuff to you guys. Okay, let me look at one. Danny's probably like Melina. <laughs> oh, I, I just want to say, being a popular guy in high school back in the day, I always would look out for the underdog. People getting bullied. There is no place for it. And people would start taking a stance against it. Right? That's the way I always felt. And I think, like, I always, to me, I always, why would you not? How can you not? But I get there's not everybody doesn't do that. And that's kind of odd to me. It's, it's weird because I feel like everybody wants to look like they're a hero. But when it comes time to take action, they don't do anything. And I guess I was raised in a family where my family always stood up for others. Like they would be there and we would be there for each other or for other people. So when it came time to leave the nest and I realized that not everybody acts like that i thought it was so weird <laughs> i was like why wouldn't you stand up for somebody or help somebody I, what and then i don't know i don't know it's odd but the wrestling knowledge i'm glad a person like you is out there and if you do if you did that in in high school then i imagine you do that now and thank you for that thank you for that i know it's just easier to to just walk away and it's not your mess. Like, it's not like you're like, you don't want to get in other people's drama. I know how society says that. And I get it to an extent. Like, I'm all for that. I'm like, Ooh, this is crazy. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going because um, hopefully they'll figure it out themselves. But there's certain times where, no, man, like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you got to stand up. And I don't know. I guess I, I my mind goes to a place where, um, there was a little old lady at a, I probably told this story a bunch of times to people out there, but um, there was a time where I was at the airport and I was waiting for my ride and a little old lady with all her luggage in the cart was rolling, you know, trying to get to her section to get picked up. All her luggage, the cart, everything, she fell off the, that sidewalk part and into the street in front of a bus. Nobody did anything. And it will always bother me. It will haunt me for the rest of my life of how nobody did a thing. And I got down there and I told her to get up. And I started moving all her stuff because I know I'm quicker. It's not that I, I don't, I'm scared. I'm not scared that I'll get hit by a bus. Yeah, I'm scared I'm going to get hit by a bus. But I know I'm quicker and I can make it before she could. And, you know, I just looked at everybody. As soon as I got all her stuff up, you know, easy peasy. And I looked at every guy that was around me who was big. <laughs> and I said, wow, really? How? You just watched the struggle and you couldn't even help. Like, you didn't have to come down here, but at least, like, help her grab the, the, the luggage, anything. But that's not the way the world works, right? But I'm glad that I was able to help. And as long as there's the few of us who can at least we could like pass it on little by little. And hopefully in the future, there'll be more people who would want to help each other like us. So keep keep on keeping on the wrestling knowledge because I really appreciate you and how your mind works, your soul is, how your soul is. And that makes my heart happy. Um, oh my goodness, I just like, oh, I want to like talk to everybody. I love you so much. Oh. Thank you, Melina. I love you so much. I love you so much. That makes my heart happy, y'all. I told you, you're my family. At least make an attempt to help. <laughs> For a second, I thought you you put at least fake an attempt to help. I thought, but in sometimes, yeah, at least pretend like you're gonna do something. 
Uh, maybe if that, uh, people pretend enough, maybe at one point they finally do. You know, fake it till you make it type of deal. It's real. So that's, I also believe that when it comes to smiles, if you don't feel happy, maybe there's a bad side of this too, though. So I'm just saying you could pretend that you're happy and eventually you will be happy, but it's not good when you pretend to be happy when you need help. When you need help, get help. Don't pretend through that. But to when you pretend that that sometimes great, like days are great, sometimes it, it actually becomes great. I know it, it worked for me. That worked for me. But I get it. it's not for everybody. Every Molina is part of my family. Ah, oh, I love you so much. I want to see work. I want to see, like, I need to see a video of you. I want to see, I want to keep track of your progress through wrestling. So Danny, okay, we are going to look at our calendars after this and figure out a date. Yes. Okay, so are we wrapping up, Danny? Oh my god, am I like wiping my 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 makeup straight across? I am part of my charm. This is part of who I am. So so no, I wasn't say so sad. No, it's not so sad. I'm so human that it happens. <laughs> But, oh, Isaac, thank you for saying about the positive energy. You know, life is already tough and terrible and crazy as it is. Why? Like, why add to it? Why add to it? And plus, it's, that's what's in here. The positivity and happiness is in here. At least when, uh, I think after you feel pain and uh, sadness, because I was a positive, happy person before, then experienced this, you know, horribleness, hor horribleness, if that's the word, correct word, you realize how precious positivity and kindness and happiness is. And it's not that, I think, to truly know what ha happiness is and, and everything, you got to go through those hardships. And then you start really appreciating all the good stuff. So I do appreciate all those terrible moments that make me appreciate these times with you guys you guys make me smile where is it where is it we are all done with the orders today okay i love you guys i will try to do another live stream and then the other live stream will probably set up or live stream but virtual signing i will post about that so live stream here on youtube facebook i will do that in the future and ask ask uh, answer questions but I will post the next virtual signing, virtual meet and greet, where I will talk to people. You don't have to order an 8x10. Or if you want an 8x10, we will post that up in realmelina.com and maybe some Christmas stuff. So then you could get some Christmas presents, like something Christmassy for, for a family member if you want. So I hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you for being here and talking to us. We love you guys. We have, I appreciate it each and every minute here. You've been amazing. So sending nothing but love to each and every one of you. Thank you. Aw. I love you so much. Thank you for being a part of this. It's hard for me to say goodbye. <laughs> sending love. Have a great day.